Chapter 2141 Unrivaled Divine Power Stepping Into That Region Before even reaching the Drake King and the Blood Phoenix King, Long Chen was buffeted by astral winds that felt like blades against his skin. Why is it that despite being at the peak of the 12th rank, these two are so much stronger than other peak 12th rank magical beasts? Long Chen was shocked. Both the Drake King and the Blood Phoenix King far surpassed the power of the other magical beasts here. They could instantly kill other magical beasts of the same rank. As soon as Long Chen got close, the Blood Phoenix King's feathers stood on end, and rays of divine light shot out at Long Chen. Those rays of divine light shattered the void, breaking the laws of the heavenly deos. Long Chen hastily dodged, but one of those rays struck his shoulder. Even his Azure Dragon battle armor was unable to block it, and blood splashed. Immense pain came from his shoulder. The wound was deep enough that one could see the bone, and there was some remnant energy trying to wreck his body. Boom. The Drake King's claw smashed down, and the Phoenix Blood King immediately counterattacked. Their huge bodies once more clashed, unleashing terrifying astral winds. Just at this moment, Guo Ran's arrow flew through the air. But the astral winds blew it away to some unknown spot. Boss, this one is too powerful. I can't even hit it. Shouted Guo Ran. Just wait for your chance. Don't blindly shoot. Called out Long Chen. Boom. At this moment, Wild charged his way through the astral winds and reached the Blood Phoenix King. He smashed his club down. Only to be smacked away by one of its wings. Wild was extremely powerful but he was unable to do anything to this blood phoenix king. It was too strong. No wonder it was able to become the king of the beasts in the other region. Split the heavens eight. Eyeing the drake king's movements, Long Chen unleashed an attack at a time he judged correct. His saber fell just as the blood phoenix king was knocked back by the drake king. His aim was perfect, striking it right on the throat. However, the scene of his saber slicing through its neck and its head flying away never appeared. Only a mass of feathers whirled away. He only managed to break some feathers and just barely scratch its skin. A bit of blood flowed out. There's no way to fight. Long Chen's expression changed. Even a perfectly timed attack at its weakest spot was unable to do anything. Being struck in the neck seemed to enrage the Blood Phoenix King. It actually turned toward Long Chen. All its feathers stood on end, and light passed through all of them, condensing in its eyes. A blood-colored divine arrow shot out. That arrow caused the clouds and wind to change color. Long Chen felt the world around him freeze as he was locked in place. The Drake King immediately opened its mouth and unleashed a wave of dragon breath to interrupt the Blood Phoenix King. However, the Blood Phoenix King seemed to have been infuriated and would rather receive the Drake King's attack if it meant it could kill Long Chen. The divine arrow shot out. This was a terrifying attack. If struck. Long Chen would definitely die. The sky was dyed red. However, Long Chen snorted, and a dragon cry rang throughout the world. The frozen space snapped like a tense bowstring. Bloodline pressure? You're far too lacking for that. Like a bolt of lightning, Long Chen shot away, barely avoiding the arrow. It landed in the distance and exploded, creating a giant cloud on the ground. Its shock waves blew apart countless mountains. At this moment, the Drake King's dragon breath struck the Blood Phoenix King, sending it tumbling back. But the Drake King had also been affected by Long Chen's sudden dragon pressure, weakening its attack. Long Chen immediately retracted his dragon pressure. The Drake King was affected more than the Blood Phoenix King by it. Wild once more charged forward, only to be sent flying once more. Fortunately, Wild's body was truly terrifying, and he wasn't injured. However, Wild's attacks were also unable to cause any damage to the Blood Phoenix King, making him howl in rage. Drake King, entangle it. I'll give it a heart attack. Long Chen took a deep breath, putting away Evil Moon. He clasped his right elbow with his left hand, raising his right arm. A flame lotus condensed in his hand, and chanting rang out from both Long Chen's mouth and the air. It was like gods and devils were chanting along, as the Nirvana scripture activated. Flame energy gathered from every direction, creating a giant whirlpool around Long Chen. At the center of the whirlpool was the flame lotus. It rapidly grew larger and larger. A Taiji diagram materialized in the center of it, and then a flame sphere appeared. 
This was the same world extermination flame lotus he had used at the mechanism sect but this time, it was even stronger because he was using the Nirvana scripture to absorb the wild world's energy. It was already ten times larger than last time. The world was set ablaze. Heaven and earth twisted like it was the apocalypse. That's about enough. Any more and I won't be able to control it. Long Chen looked at the giant flame lotus in his hand and felt a burst of fear. This thing was too dangerous. One mistake and he would end up being killed by it. Last time, he had used Huo Long's power to use it. This time, he used the Nirvana scripture. This was his first time using the Nirvana scripture along with the inverse Tao water spirit flame. Unexpectedly, the inverse Tao water spirit flame crazily absorbed all that flame energy without him being able to control it. It was like a hungry wolf. If he didn't control it, it would continue growing limitlessly, devouring him. Even the entire world might be destroyed. This move that Long Chen had invented should be called a forbidden art for it truly possessed the power to exterminate worlds. This was also why when he had developed the world extermination flame lotus, a heavenly manifestation had descended. It was because this move was capable of threatening the heavenly deos. While using the heaven incinerating flame to test this move, just going to the sixth star point had made it almost go out of control. Now that he was using the inverse Tao water spirit flame, it was different. It was like he had been controlling a rabbit at first, only to try controlling a dragon now. Fortunately, this was still Huo Long's power, so Long Chen could control it, but it was starting to grow unruly with the Nirvana scripture's support. Guo Ran, wild, retreat. He couldn't stop the world extermination flame lotus from continuing to absorb flame energy. In just a few more seconds, it would progress to the two-star level, but then he would lose his life. Wild and Guo Ran immediately rushed away. Long Chen flung the flame lotus at the Blood Phoenix King. The Drake King had been warned by Long Chen and was prepared. Its scales lit up, and it suddenly shot into the distance. The giant flame lotus smashed through the air. Cracks appeared in the void as the world was unable to bear this terrifying power. The Phoenix Blood King finally felt fear. Its instincts as a magical beast were telling it that if it was struck by that, it would be doomed. It spread its wings, about to flee, but just at this moment, Long Chen's blood chi surged. He activated his dragon might once more, locking it down. In this state, trying to dodge would only quicken its death. The Blood Phoenix King let out a resounding bird cry. Its wings spread open, and its feathers blazed with light. Astral wind surged out of it along with a pillar of light, striking the world extermination flame lotus. This was the Blood Phoenix race's strongest attack. Even the Drake King had to be wary of it. The Flame Lotus exploded. It was like the explosion of a star. At the same time as the dazzling light spread, it was possible to see a black hole appear in the center, which annihilated everything in its midst before vanishing. Long Chen coughed repeatedly, each time spitting out blood. Although this was his attack and he had immediately fled. The world extermination flame lotus's area of effect was too large, causing him to be injured. This time, he had mostly used the power of the world to strengthen it, not Huo Long's power. So the world extermination flame lotus's flames no longer recognized him as its master. Boom. The earth split open, and a huge figure shot out, covered in blood. It was the Blood Phoenix King. Its aura was extremely chaotic now. It no longer had any of its mighty aura. All of its feathers had been destroyed, and one of its wings was almost torn from its body. In its heavily injured state, it no longer had an urge to fight. It fled for its life. However, the Drake King, which had long since been waiting due to Long Chen's instructions, slammed its claw through its head. The Blood Phoenix King let out one final cry as it fell from the sky, with its opponent dead. The Drake King let out a mighty roar. Chapter 2142 Hunting Pasture The Blood Phoenix King died. The Drake King roared, and all the other magical beasts on its side also roared, like troops raising morale. They began a furious assault on the opposing magical beasts. The magical beasts that had come with the Blood Phoenix King retreated after their leader perished, but the other magical beasts refused to let them off. One side fled, one side chased. The battlefield quickly emptied, leaving behind only giant corpses. Thank you for helping me defeat it. Starting today, 
I am the king of this entire world. The Drake King thanked Long Chen, with newfound respect for his power. Boss, that technique of yours is amazing. Even that blood phoenix was crushed. Who cares about those geniuses of the ancient era? Boss can still crush them. Guo Ran ran over, shouting excitedly. Don't be stupid. With such a long cast time, do you think others will just watch me use it? It's not as amazing as you think it is because it's easy to interrupt. People stronger than me won't give me a chance to use it, and people weaker than me aren't worth me using this move, said Long Chen. Perhaps against a dumb magical beast, this technique that took so long to cast was passable. Besides, it wouldn't have hit the Blood Phoenix King if Long Chen hadn't unleashed his dragon might to restrict its movements. If a powerful move couldn't strike its target, then it was nothing more than a flashy firework. Really? Even such a powerful move is useless Guo Ran cried as disbelief. Fool, there's no undefeatable move in this world. Only undefeatable people. Techniques are dead things, but people are living. If you want to live, you have to learn when to use different moves at different times for the best effects. Ah, there's no point explaining this to you. Your path is different from ours. Long Chen avoided saying too much since Guo Ran's cultivation path was different from everyone else's. Leave behind 500 people here to clean up the battlefield. Everyone else, follow me back to the channels to the devil world. We have to go assist the original devil race, shouted Long Chen. Are they also fighting on that side? Asked Guo Ran, startled. Long Chen scolded. Is your head useless for everything other than forging? There was such an intense fight over here, but they didn't come to assist. That means that they couldn't come. Long Chen brought the Dragon Blood Legion over, and as expected, they saw the original Devil Race in a fierce clash against the Devil Race. This time, several Devil Races had come. They had both numbers and many powerful experts. Yu Zihan and Yu Ziaokian were both using their divine seals to kill them, but there were too many of them. They weren't able to kill all the devils. World Extermination Flame Lotus. Just as the original Devil Race was starting to be overwhelmed, Chanting filled the air, followed by a shout from Long Chen. A giant flame lotus exploded amongst the devil race. The terrifying waves devoured the battlefield. Millions of devils were incinerated, with even the stronger ones only being able to struggle for a while before being burned alive. Long Chen had wiped out the majority of the winged devils in one attack. The original devil race's experts cheered. Their reinforcements had finally arrived. After unleashing that attack, Long Chen turned a bit pale. After using the World Extermination Flame Lotus twice, his spiritual Yuan, his spiritual strength, and his Yuan spirit were all low on power. He felt empty. However, the tides had instantly turned. The Drake King and the Dragonblood Warriors also joined in, quickly annihilating the rest of the Devil Race. Xia Chen was covered in sweat and finally sighed with relief. He had been in charge of the formation and making sure that the devils trying to escape didn't get out. Things had been incredibly chaotic just now, and he had exhausted himself. But fortunately not one devil managed to escape. Long Chen had ordered Xia Chen to make the two channels here become only one way. None of the devils that came out could go back to report what was on the other side. If they knew that this place was a trap. It would cut off one of the paths for the original devil race to get stronger. So Xia Chen's responsibility was quite heavy. Boss, you're finally back. We almost couldn't hold on any longer. Xia Chen smiled bitterly. Guo Ran explained what had happened on their side. And only then did everyone realize that the battle here had been even more terrifying than the battle with the magical beasts. Long Chen looked at the mountains of corpses of the devil race. He asked, what happened? Why would so many of them appear at once? The attack was extremely sudden and quick. These devils aren't from the same race, but they all appeared at the same time. Most likely, they've sensed something on the other side. After all, several groups have entered, but no one's returned. So it naturally draws suspicion. Those few races probably grouped up and discussed it, deciding to charge in together to see what's going on. We were able to hold on at the start. But as more of the devils appeared, we started to run out of energy, weakening the power of our divine seals. It was truly dangerous, said Yu Ziaokian. It was incredibly coincidental. 
Attacks came from both sides at the same time. Despite Long Chen coming in time, over 10,000 of the original Devil Race's warriors had died. The number of devils that had come this time was dozens of times greater than in the past. And furthermore, there had been many powerful experts amongst them. Novaloon.com This is no good. We cannot allow such a thing to happen again. Xia Chen set up an instant transportation formation. If things get tight here, make it so that a portion of the devils are instantly sent away, said Long Chen. Being able to talk spiritually with the Drake King, he felt it was no problem. The Blood Phoenix King was dead, and there was no magical beast in this world that could match it. They would all have to listen to it. Moreover, the magical beasts were bloody and warlike. It was fine for these devils to be transported to them to fight. The only reason these magical beasts came out to fight under its orders wasn't because they were loyal, but because of the fierce blood flowing in their veins. They liked to fight and weren't afraid of death. If they didn't have a fight after a long time, they would start fighting amongst themselves. The Drake King didn't care about their deaths. Seeing the Drake King nod, Long Chen had Xia Chen quickly set it up. It wasn't too difficult for Xia Chen because the target location wasn't very far. It was just where some of the magical beasts were concentrated. Those magical beasts would automatically go crazy against invaders. There was no need to have someone control them. Other than that, Long Chen set up several other backups just in case. Although there was a supreme expert like the Drake King on their side, for the often unlucky Long Chen, keeping things in reserve was always best. Seeing Long Chen set up one backup after another, Yu Zivan sighed. When it came to stratagems like this, the original Devil Race was lacking. If the original Devil Race had a strategist like Long Chen, perhaps they could have reversed the tides a while ago and soared. After arranging things, everyone got back to work. Long Chen asked the Drake King if it wanted to slaughter the nest of the Western Blood Phoenix race, but its response was a bit surprising. It said that it didn't feel any hatred for the Blood Phoenix race. According to it, this was life. Experts died all the time. If you surrendered, you wouldn't be immediately killed. Magical beasts slaughtered each other for food all the time, but they wouldn't exterminate a whole family or race. This was a law they naturally followed. Only then did Long Chen realize why there were so many magical beasts in this world. However, he still felt that something was off. Why would magical beasts respect this rule? Didn't they just act on instinct? Just as he was pondering this, Yu Zivan and Yu Ziaokian came over to his seclusion region. Long Chen hastily went to welcome them. My mom wants to see the Blood Phoenix King's corpse. Yu Ziaokian went straight to the point. Long Chen was curious, but he simply went to an empty region and plopped out the corpse. Yu Zivan walked over to the corpse and touched its blood. Carefully looking at it and smelling it, she said, There really is a problem. What is it? asked Long Chen. The Blood Phoenix race is an ancient species. Although they aren't as famous as the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, they're still an extremely powerful existence. However, its bloodline has become muddled, making it no more than a mindless magical beast. How can you explain that? It's not just the Blood Phoenix or the Golden Drake. Many of the magical beasts in this world are actually very famous Xuan beasts, said Yu Zihan. Xuan beasts. This information was truly shocking to Long Chen. Most of what he knew about magical beasts only pertained to alchemy. He didn't know much else. A surprising proportion of these magical beasts here had reached the peak of the 12th rank. However, due to their impure bloodlines, many of their natural abilities had been lost, and their intelligence was low. However, if they were Xuan beasts, then that would be heaven-defying. The Xuan beasts possessed terrifying innate divine abilities and intelligence on par with humans. If this many 12th rank Xuan beasts appeared, they would be enough to trample the martial heaven continent. Correct. They should be Xuan beasts. However, their bloodline has lost a few inheritance runes, causing them to lose their innate divine abilities. They will never be able to return to that ancestral level. Furthermore, I've checked their crystal cores. They lack a trace of spirituality making it so they cannot awaken their latent potential. Have you noticed? Many of the magical beasts have runes for divine abilities on their scales. Horns, eyes, tails, etc. However, 
they are unable to use those divine abilities now that you say that. I recall that truly is the case. Long Chen slapped his leg. He had always found the magical beasts of this world to be strange. Now that Yu Zivan brought it up, he realized what it was. If my guess is correct, this wild world might be a hunting pasture for the devil race, said Yu Zivan gravely. Chapter 2143 Yu Zivan's advice then the person in charge of this pasture. Long Chen's heart pounded. Correct. It's the devil race. They probably released these magical beasts into this world and will come to slaughter them every now and then. I've investigated the two channels. They were activated once 30,000 years ago, based on a few marks. I've also come to a hypothesis that there was a large battle at that time, but due to how much time has passed, those marks are too vague to confirm anything. But from the Blood Phoenix King's corpse, it is possible to determine that the magical beasts here have been modified by someone. They are like livestock, and once they've grown fat and numerous enough, the devil race will slaughter them. Through this slaughter, they can strengthen their devil chi. The flesh and souls of all creatures are their best supplements. That's why the devil race is like a pack of locusts. Wherever they go, death follows. Through various indications, it's possible to conclude that we've accidentally barged into one of the devil race's pastures, said Yu Zihan. If it's a pasture, then why did different races amongst the devil race come here? Asked Long Chen. Most likely, this world has been lost or forgotten. The devil race probably only noticed it again recently. To them, this is a masterless piece of fat meat. So they all want to take a bite or take possession of it. It's a pity many of the original devil race's resources have been destroyed by the experts of the Martial Heaven continent. They've attacked the skyscraping world several times, almost destroying it and making us lose many inheritances. We might be able to understand more otherwise. You zip inside. I don't understand. Why does the Martial Heaven continent want you dead? You're clearly capable of suppressing the devil race. You should be allied with the Martial Heaven continent. Long Chen couldn't help asking this question. This relates to the experts on a higher level. Once you reach that level, I will naturally tell you. Or perhaps you will know by then without me saying anything. Telling you now is meaningless and will only rattle your Dao heart. Said Yu Zihan. Long Chen sighed helplessly. It seemed that the Martial Heaven continent was even more complicated than he knew. There were countless secrets hidden in its depths. All right, then if this wild world is a pasture, then is the Martial Heaven continent also a pasture for the devil race? Asked Long Chen suddenly. Not just the devil race. Yu Zivan left, leaving behind Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian. It seemed she didn't want to say too much. Yu Ziaokian said, Long Chen, don't blame my mother. She definitely has a reason why she isn't telling you. Some things can cause unpredictable karma if spoken about. She does this to keep you safe. Of course. I know my mother-in-law is looking out for me. Long Chen smiled. Your skin is really thick. Who agreed to marry you? Demanded Yu Ziaokian, blushing. Long Chen arrogantly laughed, making Yu Ziaokian blush even harder. Her heart had long since been given to Long Chen. However, her skin wasn't as thick as his, and the slightest teasing got good results. Long Chen knew that Yu Ziaokian had to focus on upgrading her divine seal right now. With every fight, the original devil race was benefiting immensely from slaying the devils. The devil cores were upgrading the power of their divine seals, making their power against the devil race even greater. The more they fought, the stronger they would become. Regretfully, while they were the bane of the devil race, they wouldn't have that kind of advantage against opponents that weren't from the devil race. For example, the human race. After Yu Ziaokian left, Long Chen extracted the Blood Phoenix King's crystal core, blood, and bones. Those were all treasures. He extracted everything useful from the magical beasts that had died in battle. Wild only needed the meat. Many parts of 12th rank magical beasts were treasures that couldn't be bought with money. Hence, it could be said that a huge amount of wealth had fallen into Long Chen's pocket this time. Day after day passed. Long Chen was refining life star pills all day for the future. He didn't just need to refine them for himself but also the Dragon Blood Legion. It was all in preparation for the Qi Flow eruption. Half a month later, five eruptions occurred from the channels to the Devil Race. 
There were three small skirmishes and two immense battles. One of them was an even greater invasion than the last time. However, they were all annihilated by the original devil race. That was because their power had risen crazily, and their divine seals were much stronger. In order to lessen the pressure, they would occasionally activate the formation, transporting a group of devils to the territory of magical beasts. That was like throwing water into boiling oil. The magical beasts went crazy, annihilating the devils. The Drake King said that with the devils constantly invading, there were fewer fights amongst the magical beasts. They now had devils to kill if they were bored. Seeing that everything was under control, Long Chen went over to the Drake King. He asked it to look after the original devil race and gave it a pill. This pill was made of his own essence blood. It was a spirit awakening pill that could raise the intelligence of the Drake King. Hopefully, that would allow the Drake King to awaken some of its talent and advance to the 13th rank. Even magical beasts needed to comprehend the heavenly deos to cultivate to their peak. Doing that required a certain amount of intelligence. Humans were the most spiritual of all beings, making them closest to the heavenly deos. Whether it wanted to become a true dragon or simply break through, being able to transform into human form would definitely help. This selfless gesture from Long Chen made it even more grateful, and as its intelligence grew, it became even more thankful. It promised not to let anything happen to the original devil race. Long Chen then told Guo Ran, Xia Chen, Gu Yang, and the others to work hard during this time. Xia Chen especially had to spend the remaining two months preparing for the Qi Flow eruption. When the Qi Flow eruption occurred, there would definitely be a competition with countless experts, including those ancient powers. Perhaps there would be a bloody battle. It would all be up to each side's power. Xiaokian, do you want to go back with me this time? asked Long Chen. Long Chen wanted to return to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. There was the Drake King here, so everything was under control. Now he was getting a bit worried about that side. After all, with how the mechanism sect had sneak attacked there before, it was telling everyone that if they wanted to find trouble for Long Chen, they could attack the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. I'm listening to my mom. Before the devil race invades the continent, I have to upgrade my devil seal. That's the only way I can help you in the future. Mom also said. Yu Xiaokian hugged Long Chen. Leaning her head against him. Said what asked Long Chen. Holding on to her tightly. Her fragrance was bewitching. Yu Xiaokian smiled mischievously. My mom said that all your women are so strong and are of great assistance to you. If I don't have this little bit of power. I won't be loved as much. Nonsense. I love you from my heart. If it weren't for you, I would have been killed by that Yun Luo in the Jiuli secret realm. You were my savior. If I didn't give my heart to a beauty like you, I would be letting down the fate that drew us together. Long Chen kissed Yu Xiaokian's forehead. Yu Xiaokian wrinkled her nose cutely and glared at him. Bad person. So it was all based on looks. Long Chen laughed. Of course. Isn't everything like that? After being saved. If they weren't good looking but still wanted your heart, you have to immediately say, Miss, I cannot, for if I were to marry you, it would taint your act of chivalry. It would be like I needed saving from you because I wanted to force you into marrying me. Wouldn't that make everyone look down on us but if they were a beauty, then it'd be different. You would immediately say, for you to love me like this, I have a responsibility to return your love. If I didn't, wouldn't I be worse than a dog? I will spend this life of mine to protect you for a lifetime. The sanctimonious yet realistic way that Long Chen acted made Yu Xiaokian laugh. I like seeing you seriously talk nonsense. After talking a bit more, and confirming that Yu Xiaokian truly wanted to stay behind and wasn't testing his sincerity toward her, Long Chen left. Among all his women, only Tang Wan'er was actually difficult to handle. She played many tricks that made Long Chen feel cautious. Fortunately, if it was just Tang Wan or he could handle it. To be careful, Long Chen stealthily left the skyscraping world, covering up not just his aura but also his appearance. He made several loops and confirmed that there was nothing questionable before leaving. He flew for about an incense stick's worth of time over the martial heaven sea ring before encountering two experts wearing the robes of the ancient family alliance. From a distance, 
he saw that they were Empyreans and most likely searching for the location of the Chi Flow eruption. The entire continent was currently searching and hoping to find it ahead of time so they could get an advantage. Long Chen ignored them, continuing to fly toward the central plains. However, while he ignored them, the two of them suddenly turned back to chase him. Hold it, both of them shouted, blocking Long Chen in the sky in a very unfriendly manner. Chapter 2144 The Blood Emperor's Descendants Don't Look for Trouble I haven't killed anyone in a few days and it's tough holding myself back. If you are in a hurry to reincarnate, I'll send you on your way, said Long Chen coldly. He didn't know if it was his bad luck flaring up again, but as soon as he left the original devil race, just when he was trying to be low-key to avoid exposing his identity, someone disturbed him. The more he didn't want to cause trouble, the more others wanted to find trouble for him. Flames of fury rose inside him. Why was it that so many idiots ended up finding him instead of finding others? Long Chen was wearing a black cloak with the hood covering most of his face. However, his icy killing intent exuded from his words, causing the two men to jump. Who are you? Probed one of them. Who are you to ask? Scram. Snorted Long Chen. Ignoring those ancient family alliance experts, he continued forward. How brazen. You dare to ignore us. The one who asked him was infuriated. He summoned his manifestation and unleashed a palm at Long Chen. His hand became red like blood, and his blood chi rumbled like thunder. This was Long Chen's first time encountering such a cultivation technique. However, he didn't care about it. He randomly swung his hand, slapping the infuriated man in the face, sending him flying back while coughing up blood. As soon as Long Chen did it, he regretted it. In this world, the only one capable of such a beautiful slap was him. Hadn't he just exposed his identity? Bastard. The other expert charged at him. But before he could reach him, Long Chen sent him flying with a kick. They were just two Empyreans whose manifestations hadn't even awakened. They weren't qualified to be arrogant in front of him. Even if they were awakened Empyreans, they wouldn't be qualified. Who are you? Demanded the one who had been slapped. He knew that he had encountered an expert. Is it any of your business? You aren't fit to know my name. Hurry up and scram. Take advantage while my mood's still decent, said Long Chen indifferently. Do you know who we are? At this moment, Long Chen truly noticed something different about them. Although they were wearing robes of the ancient family alliance, they had another mark on their chests, one that looked like a blood-colored tree. Looking carefully, Long Chen saw that it was a Wutong tree. Seeming to notice that Long Chen had finally taken note of that mark, one of them shouted, We are the Blood Emperor's descendants. You actually dared to attack us. Do you believe me when I say you? The speaker was once more slapped in the face, causing him to cough up more blood. Who cares about descendants of the Blood Emperor? Even the Stone Emperors had the crap beat out of them by me. So do you believe me when I say I'll send you to see your ancestor if you keep talking? snorted Long Chen. You, you, your Long Chen. Those two ancient family alliance experts instantly paled. Even their voices shivered. Long Chen had destroyed the mechanism sect and then charged his way into the stone race, practically beating Shai Lingfeng to the point that he had to kneel and beg for mercy. If Nangong Zuiyu hadn't come at that time, Shai Lingfeng would have been killed. So when Long Chen mentioned beating the stone race's descendants, the two of them instantly realized his identity. They also became covered in icy sweat. They might not fear anyone, but Long Chen wasn't just anyone. Others wouldn't dare to kill them, but Long Chen definitely wouldn't mind. Sorry sorry, we were disrespectful. The two of them exchanged a glance and lowered their heads. After all, their lives were more important. There was a homicidal devil king in front of them, and their status couldn't intimidate him. Since you're the Blood Emperor's descendants, does that mean that the heir of the Blood Emperor has also awakened? Asked Long Chen. Yes, the Blood Emperor's own daughter, Shu Eluicha, has inherited all the Blood Emperor's divine abilities. We've come out now to sweep away all the other geniuses on the continent. One of them immediately started to become arrogant again. The other one glared at him and said, Of course, we won't be enemies with Mr. Long Chen. We won't be sweeping you away for sure. Although they felt great respect for their Shu Eluicha, she wasn't present right now. 
Facing Long Chen, they couldn't be arrogant. The Peng Emperor, Blood Emperor, and Stone Emperor's heirs had all come out. It was said that Zetianzi had an extremely deep relationship with the corrupt emperor, but Zetianzi was especially mysterious, and there weren't many rumors about him. On the other hand, there were quite a few legends about the Blood Emperor. It was said that the Blood Emperor had once fought a sovereign but had been suppressed. Of course, too much time had passed to be sure about any such rumors. It was said that the Blood Emperor had created a new cultivation path with blood at its core. Long Chen had truly sensed a strange energy within the two of their attacks just now. Long Chen continued, Is Shu Aluicha beautiful for some reason? The two of them looked at each other oddly and at the same time said, Beautiful enough to eclipse the moon and shame flowers. All right, it seems that was a useless question. It doesn't have anything to do with me. Long Chen knew he couldn't draw out any useful information from the two of them. He was about to leave when he suddenly recalled something and asked, why did the two of you block me in the first place? Ah, that's nothing. We just wanted to ask if you've searched this area yet, said one of them awkwardly. They were currently searching for any questionable signs or traces. If they found any place that could be the location of the chi flow eruption, they would need to immediately report it. If their information was correct, they would get a huge reward. Long Chen immediately understood. The two of them had wanted to force out his secrets. If he had found something, the accomplishment would go to them. Based on their conduct, he estimated that Shu Aluicha was no good egg either. The leader was the one who raised the soldiers. All right, you can scram. Count yourselves lucky today, said Long Chen, flying off. Seeing him fly off, the two of them sighed with relief. They suddenly realized that their backs were covered in icy sweat. Why would he appear here? Don't you see where he's going? It's the opposite of us. He's definitely also looking for the location of the Qi flow eruption. Everyone's searching for it. We should hurry up too. Let's pick a different path. We won't find anything where Long Chen's already been. Long Chen sped across the martial heaven sea ring. Looking at the endless sea, he suddenly recalled many memories. Back in the day, he had crossed the eastern sea on a flying boat to reach the Zhuanshan Dao sect years had passed since then. He was no longer the same youth. His cultivation base had grown, but he was growing wearier as well. Perhaps that was the price of growth. Even the memory of when he had left the Phoenix Cry Empire with Little Snow replayed in his mind. Little Snow, are you alright? Will you be the same you once you're reborn? Little Snow's soul had merged with that mysterious giant egg. But Long Chen didn't know the origins of that egg. He also didn't know what the final result would be. He thought of when he had been hunted by Marquis Ying back in the wilds of the Phoenix Cry Empire. Little Snow had been only a few months old but had chased after him to find him, ending up covered in wounds and bitten by a toxic viper. Long Chen had never forgotten that sight. Later on, Little Snow had sacrificed itself to save him. Long Chen had an urge to charge into the Yun Yang world right now just to take a look. However, it was just a thought. He couldn't actually do it. He could only wait for the day that Little Snow was reunited with him. Flying over the sea, he saw many other experts flying around rapidly. However, those experts weren't as confident as the other two and didn't stop him. Once he stepped onto land, he quickly found a city. Using the transportation formation. He arrived in the eastern Xuan city. From there, he went to the central Xuan region. His first stop was the Martial Heaven Alliance. As soon as he arrived, Hu Jianying met him. During this time, more powers from the ancient era have come, each stronger than the last. Amongst them are the descendants of the Blood Emperor. Have you heard of them? I encountered two people, who said that they were descendants of the Blood Emperor, and wanted to rob me, said Long Chen. Did you kill them? Hu Jianying started. Someone dared to rob Long Chen? Just how blind were they? She estimated that the two of them were already on the path to reincarnation. No, I'm not someone who likes causing trouble. After slapping them a couple of times, I told them to scram. Long Chen waved his hand, indicating that he himself was very low-key. Hearing that, Hu Jianying was a bit more at ease. She did not want Long Chen to be surrounded by enemies. Although last time he had managed to shake the Martial Heaven Continent by destroying the Mechanism Sect and attacking the Stone Race.
forcing the stone race to lower their heads. Things were not as quiet as they appeared on the surface. There were countless hidden dangers waiting. Good. Other than that, I should tell you that there's been movement from the danger zone known as the Martial Heaven Sea Ring, said Kujin Ying gravely. Chapter 2145 News of the Heavenly Netherworld Vermilion Fruit The Martial Heaven Sea Ring was a danger zone, but the experts of the continent had to come into contact with it more than they wished. However, those who knew much about it were few. No one knew for sure what lay in the depths of the sea. All they knew was that the Martial Heaven Sea Ring was filled with terrifying sea demons. Furthermore, every now and then, a sea demon tide would come from it. Sea demons would charge onto the continent. Only during that time could the continent's experts slaughter those sea demons without drawing attacks from the stronger sea demons. Normally, when crossing the sea, people would be reserved. And even if they were attacked by sea demons, they wouldn't counterattack. If they disturbed the more terrifying sea demons, that would be troublesome. Has the sea demon race also come out? Asked Long Chen. Yes. The sea demon race has started stepping foot onto the continent. They're searching for the Qi Flow Eruption's location as well. A few conflicts have happened between them and the continent's experts. I feel like they are doing this on purpose as a show of might. And to indicate that they will also have their share of the Qi Flow Eruption. Said Kujinying. If the sea demon race had come out, that meant that another opponent with a known potential had appeared. In fact, the sea demon race might even outnumber the cultivators on the continent. Whether it was the righteous path, the corrupt path, even the ancient races or the Xuan beasts, no one dared to provoke the sea demon race. The sea demon race's numbers were absolutely terrifying. They were hidden beneath the sea. No one knew just how many powerful experts they had. If all the large powers fight during the Qi flow eruption, rivers of blood will flow, sighed Long Chen. Most likely, based on historical records, the Qi flow will erupt from the depths of the earth and form a well. The Martial Heaven continent's Qi flow will turn into thousands of streams bursting out of the ground. Those who can occupy the larger streams will be able to absorb more Qi flow. The smaller streams will get less Qi flow. Some won't even be strong enough to occupy a small stream and will only be able to stand in the distance and absorb the leftovers. Legend is that there has always been a bloody battle for the largest stream of Qi flow. After all, it will determine who becomes the master of the continent. Moreover, this great era seems to be on a much larger scale than in the past. All the geniuses hidden on the continent are coming out to fight for this era. So this time... The competition for the largest Qi flow stream will definitely be exceptionally intense. Actually, the continent's life forms should unite against the sea demon race because they don't help us. In the past dark eras, they've hidden themselves and didn't help the continent. Not only can we not depend on them, but we have to give up a portion of our Qi flow. That's unacceptable, said Kujin Ying hatefully. The sea demon race could not be counted as an ally, even if they weren't enemies. They didn't seem to care about the fate of the continent, as if the world at the bottom of the sea would always be safe Novaloon.com However, all people felt some fear toward them because who knew just how great the force they had managed to gather over the years were, especially after not participating in the dark eras? In fact, it seemed that the sea demon race had never participated in the Qi flow eruption before this. If they had, it wouldn't have been on a large scale. But now there were signs that the entire sea demon race wanted to come out. Did they want an even share of the continent's chi flow? Now it'll be interesting. Long Chen smiled. Interesting? Little fellow. Do you know just how terrifying the sea demon race is? Ku Jin Ying held her head. She had been hoping for Long Chen to reserve himself upon hearing about these terrifying opponents. But it seemed that he didn't care. Whether they're terrifying or not doesn't matter. If we're fated to be enemies, then we'll meet sooner or later. Rather than focusing on them, it's better to focus on ourselves and get stronger. The old man is correct. In front of absolute power, all schemes are useless. Long Chen shrugged. Fine. If you're undaunted, I won't waste my time saying these things. Tell me, do you want to work together with us during the Qi flow eruption to occupy a larger stream of Qi flow? Asked Kujin Ying. The Martial Heaven Alliance was the continent's largest alliance. 
they would definitely gather the geniuses of the various sects and occupy a steam of chi flow for themselves. Hu Jinying didn't mind joining forces with Long Chen. That way, they could occupy an even larger stream of chi flow. A supreme expert needed to be present to keep the chi flow stream under control. Otherwise, weak people would simply be sent flying by the burst of power. However, Long Chen was surrounded by enemies. He would definitely have people fighting him during the chi flow eruption. She didn't quite know what to do about this problem. We won't go with you. The Dragonblood Legion will occupy our own chi flow stream. With how many enemies we have, others who joined us probably wouldn't be able to absorb any chi flow when the time comes, said Long Chen. He was clearest on this. When the chi flow eruption occurred, things would definitely be chaotic. No one would give up on this opportunity that only occurred once every tens of thousands of years. Will you be alright on your own? Do you want the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the Heaven Splitting Battle sect's disciples on your side? Asked Hu Jinying. The Zhuanshan Dao sect and the Heaven Splitting Battle sect were extremely powerful now. Bao Buping and Chang Hao had awakened their manifestations, and on the side of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, there were Hua Xiaoyu, Wang Zhen, Mu Qingxuan. Sumo, and others who had awakened their manifestations as well. Hu Jinying didn't know that the reason Hua Xiaoyu and the others had awakened their manifestations was thanks to Long Chen. If he hadn't sent them his hundred flower da resonation pills, they would have needed a much longer time to awaken their manifestations. He hadn't told Hu Jinying about the hundred flower da resonation pills. It wasn't that he didn't trust her but that he felt there were definitely traitors in the Martial Heaven Alliance. There were definitely traitors in the Zhuanshan Dao sect as well. But just who was Li Xiang Xuan? He could perfectly control the information their enemies received. There was no need to worry about things there. However, Hu Jinying was unable to do the same. After all, an alliance was different from a sect she needed to publicly announce things according to the rules of the alliance and discuss things with various elders with authority. Long Chen didn't want to take that risk. There is absolutely no need. In fact, we won't even go with the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Don't worry, I am prepared, said Long Chen. There were less than two months now before the chi flow eruption. Although time was a bit tight. He was confident that Guo Ran would be able to finish things on his side. Long Chen chatted a bit longer with Hu Jinying. He asked about the state of affairs on the continent. More of the ancient era's powers had come out, and amongst them was the fourth everlasting family that had been silent this entire time. The Zeman family had finally come out. It was said that the Zeman family's supreme genius was called Zeman Xiangsheng. He had been very famous during his time. He was known for being frank yet also violent. He didn't get along with others very well. The Zeman family didn't seem to have many dealings with the other three everlasting families. They seemed antisocial. Other than the Zeman family, there was one other particular person that had appeared. He was a sword cultivator, but he constantly wore a silver mask and had never reported his name. The reason he managed to shake the continent was because he had slain one of the ancient era's geniuses with a single slash of his sword. The person he had slain was someone who had been invited to the gathering of past and present heroes. Hearing that, Long Chen was truly surprised. To be able to kill one of the supreme geniuses of the ancient era with one attack was truly amazing. He had to be a sword cultivator. After getting an update about the current movements on the continent, Long Chen went to the Huaian sect he saw a radiant Zheng Wenlong. Just as Long Chen had expected, to give a blow to the Dongfang family's business, the Nangong family and the Bidang family had been more than happy to form a collaboration with the Huaian sect however, the two families were rather conservative. They only traded for things that were useful to them. They wouldn't sell their treasures for something like spirit crystals. In truth. Zheng Wenlong only needed the two families to say that they were collaborating with him to achieve his goals. With just being able to say that he was working together with those two families, he had the confidence to go to other powers for negotiations, even without taking out any treasures themselves. The Huaian sect was able to act as the go-between, buying and selling things from their connections to make a profit. It looked very easy, but in truth, it was not so simple. 
What had been missing was the powerful reputation of the everlasting families. Without that prestige, it would have been impossible. The Huaian sect had their own reputation that had been built up little by little. On the business Dao, no one could instantly soar to the top, and even if they did, it would be short-lived. The Huaian sect had managed to achieve their current level by acting in good faith toward all their clients generation after generation. With that reputation and being able to say that he had the Nangong and Bidang families as clients, Zheng Wenlong managed to form connections with dozens of other powers who said that they also wished to collaborate with him. Brother Long, I really have to thank you this time. Without your referrals, I would have had no chance, said Zheng Wenlong. He had gone to the Nangong and Bidang families before, but they hadn't wanted to collaborate because there was nothing in the Huaian sect's hands that they wanted. Although the Dongfang family's actions had made them wary, if it had not been for Long Chen's referrals, they probably wouldn't have wanted to start this collaboration. To put it frankly, it was thanks to Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang giving Long Chen face. Helping you is helping me. So how are things now? Did you get anything I need? Asked Long Chen. Zheng Wenlong had set up a trading platform, and from this, Long Chen could see if there was anything he wanted to trade for, that was truly helping him. Zheng Wenlong suddenly slapped his leg. I almost forgot, the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit that you wanted me to keep an eye out for, there's been some news about it. What Long Chen almost jumped out of his seat. Chapter 2146 The Yun Yang World Sovereign Seal Yes, the news is that heavenly underworld vermilion fruit is in Tian Zizi's hands, said Zheng Wenlong upon hearing that it was in Tian Zizi's hands. Long Chen's excitement diminished. If that person learned that Long Chen desperately needed the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit, he would rather destroy it than sell it to him. We have a collaboration with the corrupt path as well. Thanks to the Nangong family and the Bidang family's support, we've pooled the resources of dozens of powers and have started to branch out even further. The corrupt path also wants to be part of that collaboration. But right now, many powers are still in a waiting state. They only take out one or two treasures while merely listing the rest. I saw the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit's name on the list that the corrupt path gave me. I thought I misread it when I first saw it, said Zheng Wenlong. He knew that this matter was very urgent to Long Chen. Every time they met, Long Chen asked about it. Do your best to obtain it. The price doesn't matter. But don't let them know that I'm the one who wants it. Although Long Chen knew that Zheng Wenlong was always steady, Long Chen still said this because the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit was just too important to him. This related to whether or not he would be able to condense the sixth star of the nine star hegemon body art. I will do my best to get it for you. Zheng Wenlong nodded. Since the corrupt path had put it on their list of treasures, it meant that they were willing to sell it. However, he couldn't promise anything. The corrupt path and the other powers had wily old foxes amongst them. Without taking out something that moved them, they wouldn't make any rash moves. By only taking out one or two treasures and listing the rest, they were probing the Huaian sect's power. If the Huaian sect thought that they could trick them into a useless investment, they were wrong. If the Huaian sect wanted to develop this business, they would need to bring out all their capital. Unfortunately, when it came to treasures on this level, they didn't quite have the power to circulate them. It might take a long time before they could reach that level. Good. If it's really impossible for you, I'll simply charge into the corrupt path and take it, said Long Chen. He almost couldn't wait. If he didn't lack the power, he would really charge into the corrupt path to take it. Don't. I feel like there's a high chance of success on my side. It's not worth the risk, said Zheng Wenlong hastily. He was worried about Long Chen getting hot-headed. Fine. I'll leave this matter to you. Ah, I also brought some stuff for you. They should be useful. Long Chen took out the materials he had extracted from the corpses of the magical beasts in the wild world as well as the ores they had mined. Heavens. The crystal core of a peak 12th rank heavenly kilin beast. The horn of the full moon earth rhinoceros. The essence blood of the deviled earth dragon. And. This is phoenix blood immortal gold. Glorious star mithril. Zheng Wenlong's eyes almost popped out. Long Chen was once more amazed by Zheng Wenlong's learning. He was able to recognize every item that he took out. Long Chen, 
Where did you get these? Ah, sorry, I shouldn't have asked that. Asking other people's personal secrets was naturally taboo. Jung Wenlong had been so excited that he forgot, and he immediately apologized. Long Chen smiled. We don't need so many taboos between us. I only struck gold within a minor world. I know that even though those fellows agreed to collaborate, they won't go all out at the beginning. If you don't bring out some of your own money, they won't be swayed. Right now, I only have this much of the materials from the magical beasts. As for the divine ores, I can provide you with more in the future. The parts of the magical beasts that he needed had been kept aside. As for the rest, it was valuable but not usable. So Long Chen gave them to Jung Wenlong. There were hundreds of crystal cores of 12th rank magical beasts, and a tenth of them had reached the peak of the 12th rank. First ignoring just how valuable these were, just being able to take them out was enough to shock a group of people to death. There was also the essence blood, skeletons, and divine ores. Each of them was incredibly precious. Adding on the Huai insect's own capital, this would be enough for their business collaboration to truly start. The Huai insect had felt like the weaker one in the collaboration with all these various powers, but with these resources, he was entirely capable of drawing the powers that were still watching into a full collaboration. Good. I hope you can get the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. Long Chen patted Jung Wenlong on the shoulder and then left the Huai insect if even Jung Wenlong was incapable of this, then no one else would have a chance either. Long Chen had already decided. If Jung Wenlong couldn't get it for him, then once he was stronger, he would charge into the corrupt path to take it. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on going to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, but instead, he changed paths and went straight to the entrance to the yin-yang world. He quickly reached the boundary into the yin-yang world. After that, he took out a special barrier-breaking talisman that Xia Chen had given him and crushed it. Faint ripples merged into his body and then vanished. This was a special talisman used for avoiding the senses of formations. It was a kind of concealing talisman, but it was possible to see the user with the naked eye as it was entirely focused on concealing from formations. Long Chen lowered his hood and silently warned himself that if someone provoked him, he would have to kick them or something instead of slapping them. Otherwise, it would be too easy to recognize him. After concealing his aura, he flew closer. He didn't sense anything odd. This place looked the same as before. However, just as he was a few hundred miles away from the channel, the runes covering his body flickered ever so slightly. He had entered a formation. As expected, there's a problem. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Looking around, he still didn't see anything odd. But the flicker from the runes meant that there was a formation set up by someone here. He wasn't a formation master, so he didn't know anymore. The high priest really is amazing. He actually knew that this place would be the location of the chi flow eruption. So then there's only one possibility for who set this formation up. Long Chen immediately thought of Pill Valley, as well as the strange scene of something trying to extract some of his blood when exiting the Brahma secret realm. Flying around, Long Chen didn't notice anything odd. He knew that whoever had set this formation up had to be a master capable of concealing it from people's eyes. Just as he was about to enter the channel to the yin-yang world, a strange force of repulsion appeared, blocking his path. If he forced his way through, he might be sensed by the master of the formation. Not wasting time, Long Chen took a formation disc that Xia Chen had given him. He sliced his way through the formation and walked closer to the channel. Back then, one of the Martial Heaven Alliance's Grand Elders had sent him and Yilingshan through here, giving them a head start. Now, the channel was replaced with a murky mass of primal chaos. There was mist in the surroundings, making it impossible to see what was inside. This was the entrance to the yin-yang world. If the chi flow eruption occurred here, it might destroy this door. At that time, would the monsters of the yin-yang world be able to charge in through the hole? They secretly stole the essence blood of a million geniuses to forcibly change the time and location of the chi flow eruption. Pill Valley. Just what are you planning? Long Chen was about to leave when he heard the slightest noise from the mass of primal chaos. It was so faint that he thought it was a misperception. Stopping his footsteps, he turned toward the mass of primal chaos. 
he vaguely began to see a giant seal inside. The seal was very indistinct, and then it became covered in mist once more. Although it was barely discernible, Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. He had seen that seal before. The faint aura he could sense from it was also familiar. Just at that moment, another light sound rang out from inside, and the seal appeared again. A flash of light pierced the mist, allowing Long Chen to see clearer. It was definitely the sovereign seal. It was red as blood. The power it exuded made Long Chen feel like an ant. There was no way he could be mistaken about this pressure. Only a sovereign could do this. Another light sound rang out, and through the sovereign seal, Long Chen saw a blurry scene. Countless life forms were attacking the sovereign seal. It's the blood race. Although the scene was extremely blurry, he could see the general shape of those life forms. It was the same life forms that had hunted him out of the yin yang world. He saw an endless horde of the blood race's life forms attacking the sovereign seal, unleashing various techniques that crashed against it. Although he couldn't sense their auras, based on the scale of their attacks, he estimated that these attacks were probably comparable to Nether Passage experts. Most shocking of all was their numbers. They seemed endless. The Sovereign Seal shuddered ever so slightly as it silently endured the attacks. The attacks caused bursts of the Sovereign Seal's power to erupt, rebounding the attacks. Some of the Blood Race's life forms were killed. However, more of them replaced the fallen ones. They continued to attack, wave after wave, keeping up a continuous deluge on the Sovereign Seal. Long Chen was in the midst of staring closely at that scene when he felt a strange energy pull him up. Shocked, without even thinking about it, he slashed Devil Moon at the air above him. Chapter 2147 Sovereign Moli Long Chen's Saber Mist There was no one in the direction he was being pulled. Shocked. Long Chen was about to unleash all his power to face some mysterious opponent, only to find that he had been pulled into a strange space. From this strange space, he could see the tranquil state of the martial heaven continent and also the countless experts of the blood race in the yin yang world attacking the seal. Most shocking of all, when he turned back, he saw a white robed handsome man quietly looking at him. Sovereign Long Chen couldn't help letting out a cry. He didn't recognize this person but he sensed the same sovereign air as he had from Sovereign Yun Shang. That was something that made people feel an urge to kneel and worship instinctively. He was standing right there, and yet he also seemed to be looking at him through endless time and space. The river of time seemed to flow within his eyes, and he suddenly smiled. Black clothes. Interesting. The white-robed man's voice was very gentle. This little one is Long Chen. Greetings. Sovereign Long Chen hastily cupped his fists. He was actually talking with another sovereign. He would be able to brag even more in the future. Ha ha ha. The man suddenly laughed openly. Long Chen felt like his thoughts had been read and was embarrassed. The man walked forward and warmly patted his shoulder. Junior brother Long Chen. You're very interesting. It's my first time seeing someone as amusing as you. Being called brother by a sovereign. Even Long Chen felt overwhelmed. However. He found that he couldn't feel the Sovereign's hand on his shoulder. It seemed that they weren't in the same pastime. Sovereign, you. For some reason, Long Chen started to feel sad. Don't call me Sovereign. I can't accept it. After being blessed by the Martial Heaven Continent, I was unable to change the board, letting down the countless lives of the continent. My name is Mo Li, and you can call me by my name. Or if you like, you can also call me Big Brother Mo Li. Hearing his name, Long Chen finally learned that he was talking to the third sovereign from human history, Sovereign Mo Li. Sovereign Mo Li actually wanted Long Chen to call him Big Brother. If others learned that, it would drive them crazy with envy. Big. Sovereign Long Chen tried, but he couldn't make himself call him Big Brother. He felt like that was a blasphemy to the sovereigns. It's fine. You can get used to it later. From you, I see a different future. Although I can't see the final result, I can see hope. Junior brother, I'm very happy to have seen you. Perhaps what I failed to accomplish, you can do, said Sovereign Mo Li. Sovereign Mo Li, you shouldn't raise me up like that. I'll probably never be able to reach the height that you and Sovereign Yun Shang reached. You were unrivaled, with no opponents in the entire world, while I am surrounded by enemies throughout the world, said Long Chen with a bitter smile. 
Sovereign Yan Chang had also once said something similar to him. Having no opponents in the world is good, but being surrounded by enemies throughout the world is fine too. That's not important. What's important is the result. We were unrivaled, but we weren't able to accomplish our goals. Perhaps being surrounded by enemies in the world might accomplish something new, said Sovereign Mo Li. Just at this moment, this space shivered. Long Chen looked in the distance to see that hundreds of thousands of the blood race's experts had unleashed a simultaneous attack. At the same time, Long Chen realized where he was. He was within the Sovereign's seal. Sovereign Mo Li looked at the blood race's experts and indifferently said, Heaven and Earth are like a board. Whether you are in or outside the board, once you are absorbed within, you become nothing more than a game piece. Why be so emotional? Sovereign Mo Li seemed to be giving him some pointers, but Long Chen didn't understand. He asked, Sovereign Mo Li, what's the origin of this blood race? Back when you reached your peak, why didn't you wipe them out? Sovereign Mo Li smiled and looked at him. Because I didn't have that power, I don't believe you. Ha ha ha. Sovereign Mo Li was startled at first and then laughed. You really are interesting. It's just a pity that we weren't born in the same generation. It is the truth. Sovereign Yan Chang was unable to find the key to resolving the problem. He handed the problem to Sovereign Ching Shu, and Sovereign Ching Shu left the problem to me. I also couldn't find the key, so I could only leave it for the person after me. All the way to now, the problem has yet to be resolved. So I can't accept being called Sovereign by you. None of us were able to accomplish our mission. Is it really such a difficult problem? Long Chen was befuddled. If even the sovereigns were unable to resolve things, then did that mean that the blood race had even more terrifying existences within them? Once you reach that moment, perhaps you will understand. Different people can see the same problem in different ways. There was a lock, but five keys were unable to open it. We're waiting for the next key, said Mo Li, looking at Long Chen expectantly. Don't look at me. I'm definitely not that key and I don't have the kind of nobility of the sovereigns that cared about others. If others refuse to acknowledge me, then I'm not going to risk my life for them. Long Chen hastily shook his hand. The successive generations of sovereigns had managed to win over the whole world to face the enemies from outside the continent. They had protected the entire Martial Heaven continent and all life on it. It could be said that the sovereigns were the protective gods of the Martial Heaven continent, even the corrupt path. The ancient races, and the Xuan beasts didn't dare to be the slightest bit disrespectful to the sovereigns. Even the geniuses of the everlasting families like Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang worshipped the sovereigns. That was how supreme their existence was. They had not just protected the human race, but all life on the continent. In this world, the only ones capable of obtaining the approval of all races were the sovereigns. Although there were the three emperors below the five sovereigns. Although it was said that the three of them possessed the power to challenge the sovereigns, it was only a nod toward their power. Even the emperors were unable to be like the sovereigns, gaining the approval of all the life forms on the continent. They only gained the approval of a portion. That was the difference. Long Chen could never become an existence like the sovereigns, nor did he want to. He had seen sovereign Yan Shang, and now he had seen sovereign Mo Li. He knew he lacked the heart of the sovereigns. If someone messed with him, he might let them mess around if they weren't ugly. But if he found them displeasing, he would send them flying with a slap. He wanted to live a life of freedom, and he would offer up his life for the people who loved him. But as for others, what did they have to do with him? Sovereign Moli smiled and didn't retort. He said, up to you. Every person has their own path. There is no right or wrong. Only different conclusions. My seal has remained up until now so it can count as having finished its mission. To be able to see you has made me very happy, but my power is running out. Do you have anything else you want to talk about? Long Chen was startled. Sovereign Mo Li was about to dissipate? He hastily asked. Sovereign Mo Li, do you have any techniques you can teach me? If he could learn the techniques of the sovereigns, then that would really be amazing. It was said that every sovereign had created their own unique heaven-shaking divine art but nothing about them had been transmitted down. Sovereign Moli shook his head. My techniques are only usable by myself. You are the same. You already have a technique on this level, 
and although it's not fully developed, it will reach perfection sooner or later. If someone else wanted to learn that technique, do you think you could teach it to them? He already had a technique on that level? Long Chen suddenly thought of the world extermination flame lotus. Would it possess the same level of power as a sovereign's technique once it was perfected? Sovereign Mo Li, do you know the origins of the nine-star hegemon body art? Asked Long Chen quickly. Sovereign Mo Li's body was starting to fade. I do. Then can you tell me? I cannot. Why? I am not qualified. Sovereign Mo Li faded away after that. Long Chen's expression was lifeless. Even a sovereign was not qualified to speak of it? Was it really so exaggerated? Long Chen found himself outside the sovereign seal once more. He was staring into the mist ahead of him, only vaguely able to see the sovereign seal within. It was like everything had been an illusion. Long Chen was silent as waves battered his heart. Just what kind of origins did the nine-star hegemon body art have that even a sovereign was unwilling to expose any of it? Long Chen looked at the sovereign seal and the blood race's experts that were attacking it. A single seal was able to suppress the blood race for who knows how many millennia. The sovereigns were truly existences that could only be looked up to. Long Chen sighed. He had now seen three of the five sovereigns, but rather than feeling delighted at that, he was growing more worried. Someone's come. Long Chen had taken a few steps in preparation to leave when he suddenly felt a sense of danger. Looking around, he immediately vanished. Chapter 2148 Heaven Soul Manifestation Long Chen had just vanished when two figures materialized. Both of them wore gray robes and masks, and their hair was already white with age. The two of them were nether passage experts. They held a gourd, but based on the bulging veins on their hands, it was extremely heavy. After bringing that gourd to the entrance to the yin-yang world, they placed it there and made some hand seals. Then, the runes on the gourd lit up. A torrent of blood burst out of the gourd and struck the sovereign seal. The blood instantly transformed into blood mist upon contact with the sovereign seal. That mist then slowly invaded the sovereign seal. After doing that, the two of them took the gourd and left. They didn't say a word from the start to the end. Long Chen slowly walked out from behind a boulder. Looking at the sovereign seal, Long Chen could feel killing intent creep into his eyes. That blood they had just poured out was composed of the essence blood from billions of different entities. Merging it into the sovereign seal would dilute the sovereign's blood seal, weakening it. It really is those bastards from Pill Valley. Although the two of them had concealed their auras, as a fellow alchemist, he could sense the air of alchemists around them. They intentionally drew the chi flow eruption here and are damaging the sovereign seal. Are they colluding with the blood race? Long Chen's expression was dark. If that was the case, Pill Valley might be traitors of the human race. But that also felt wrong. Pill Valley had the inheritance of Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight. Why would they collude with other races? Wouldn't that be betraying their gods? It doesn't matter. What matters is power. Don't you want to take advantage of the Qi flow eruption? Let's see if you can. Long Chen slowly vanished. Not long after Long Chen vanished, three more figures appeared. Their leader was the Valley Master, Yu Ziaoyan. The other two were incredibly old, doddering elders. Their faces were covered in wrinkles. These two elders lacked any aura. It was like they were already dead. Their eyes were murky. You said there were suspicious fluctuations here, asked Yu Ziaoyan. The two elders nodded. It seemed that they were so old that they didn't have the energy to speak. Yu Ziaoyan pointed and space twisted. Scenes began to appear. They saw a strange figure that was very indistinct. After that, they could see the two masked elders who had appeared with the gourd. The two of them were very clear in comparison. It's Long Chen. Seeing that indistinct figure, Yu Ziaoyan was surprised. It wasn't that he had recognized Long Chen, but that the Brahma Divine Diagram had sensed his aura. A sense of unease rose in his heart. Why would he appear here? One of the elders made a throat-cutting gesture. It seemed that he wanted to kill Long Chen to keep him quiet. He's too slippery. Without absolute assurance, we can't make a move. If he catches hold of any evidence to use against us, it will be troublesome. Moreover, the formation set up here isn't one from the Martial Heaven continent. No one would be able to suspect us. If we did react to this, it would be equivalent to admitting that it was us. 
Let's just observe for two days before doing anything. If there is no news from the Martial Heaven Alliance during those two days, it means that Long Chen isn't planning on sharing the secret with anyone else. We can think of something to eliminate him then. Yu Ziaoyan left with the two elders. The Sovereign Seal faintly appeared within the entrance to the Yun Yang world, seeming to be an indifferent bystander. Long Chen wasn't able to stay calm as he left the entrance to the Yun Yang world. Just what was Pill Valley's goal in doing this? Just how did this benefit them? If he could obtain proof, he could completely destroy Pill Valley and turn them into the continent's enemy. However, Pill Valley had come prepared. There was no evidence for him to use against them. Whether it was the extraction of people's essence blood in the Brahma secret realm or their arrangements in front of the Yun Yang world, there was no substantial evidence that would point out that this was done by Pill Valley. The essence blood extraction in the Brahma secret realm had been extremely stealthy. Even Long Chen had barely sensed it, let alone others. As for what was happening in front of the Yun Yang world, saying it was done by Pill Valley would just be empty words. Pill Valley wouldn't admit to it. Long Chen stealthily returned to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's territory. He then saw that the dragonblood warriors had managed to awaken their manifestations. Every one of them looked eager for a fight. Boss, the dragonblood warriors immediately ran over to Long Chen excitedly. What, are you thinking of exchanging a few blows with me? Long Chen smiled as he looked at these brothers of his. How could we dare? Boss, I heard the brothers on that side are busy with work every day. Don't you think it's wrong for us to be lazing over here? We feel bad for them, said one of the squad leaders. Give it up. You're more interested in the daily battles they get to have, right? Said Long Chen, laughing. Feeling bad for them? It was clearly jealousy. Don't be impatient. You will also have a chance to go. We'll rotate through people so that everyone gets a chance, said Long Chen. The current wild world was a treasury for Long Chen and also a training ground. Not only were there magical beasts, but there was also the devil race. Good stuff like that naturally had to be shared with everyone. To avoid drawing other people's attention, Long Chen had asked Xia Chen to establish a transportation formation capable of crossing worlds. Naturally, it was expensive to construct a world crossing transportation formation. When the Zhuanshan Dao sect had been reconstructed, Long Chen had added a world crossing transportation formation to the spirit world. In truth, the only reason such a formation could be created was because the leader of the spirit race had given him one of the life god tree's leaves that allowed him to connect with the spirit world. The spirit race's leader had to use the energy of the life god tree to create an opening through the barrier between worlds. Long Chen had set up a one-way transportation formation to the spirit world in case the Zhuanshan Dao sect met enemies that it could not resist. Later on, when Xia Chen joined, he had modified the formation to be two-way. This formation had never been used up to now. That was because activating it cost an immense price. However, to the current Long Chen, this price was now bearable. Soon, he would start building a transportation formation from the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's territory directly to the wild world. Although the price was exorbitant, it would allow them to avoid going through the skyscraping world reducing the chances of the original devil race being exposed. Hearing that they could go to the wild world later, the dragonblood warriors cheered. Thereafter, Long Chen went into the seclusion area. Long Chen. Long Chen had just arrived when Meng Chi jumped into his embrace. Long Chen spun her around a few times happily. Meng Chi, you, have you awakened your manifestation? Yes, it counts as awakened, said Meng Chi still. Holding on to Long Chen with an enchanting smile. Counts as awakened? What does that mean? Asked Long Chen. I can summon my manifestation, but the name of my manifestation has yet to appear in my mind, said Meng Chi. Heavens, Long Chen's jaw dropped. Are you saying that your manifestation is one of those legendary heaven soul manifestations when a manifestation was fully awakened? Its name would automatically appear in the cultivator's mind. However, there was a kind of manifestation that required a second awakening. It was called a heaven soul manifestation. It was said that these manifestations were condensed from the very soul of the heavenly deos, making them the strongest of all manifestations. 
He had even heard that these legendary manifestations had rankings. Only the top hundred manifestations were heaven's soul manifestations. Legend had it that people with these manifestations could ascend to become gods or immortals in the future. Long Chen had never imagined that Men Chi would have such a chance. He fiercely kissed her and praised. Men Chi, you really are my good wife. You're amazing. Men Chi blushed but was also proud. This manifestation would become a powerful support for her. Men Chi said that although her manifestation had not gone through its second awakening, her spiritual strength had completely transformed. It was said that those who completed the second awakening of a heaven soul manifestation would comprehend their own unique heavenly Tao divine arts. Those divine arts were capable of shaking heaven and earth, making ghosts and gods weep. But no one knew any details about it because there were very few historical records of anyone possessing a heaven soul manifestation. What about Chu Yao, Wan Er, and Zhikyu? Have they awakened? asked Long Chen. Not yet. For them to still not have awakened, it's very likely that they also have heaven soul manifestations. He, are you happy? chortled Meng Chi. I'm happy, very happy. Long Chen laughed. This was the best news. You'll have to be more obedient in the future, or Wan Er will put you in your place and we won't help you, teased Meng Chi. Long Chen laughed. Once Tang Wan Er became stronger, he would have to behave better around her. Long Chen checked on Chu Yao, Tang Wan Er, and Yi Zhikyu. He only looked at them from a distance to avoid disturbing them. They were surrounded by primal chaos. Light from the heavens blessed them. Long Chen was full of expectations for them. On the seventh day after he returned, the Wild World's transportation formation was set up, and Long Chen was just about to have Meng Chi and the other Dragonblood warriors enter when a sudden challenge came. Chapter 2149 Jian Wuchen Seeing the Challenge Long Chen stared blankly. Just who would issue a written challenge to him? When he opened it, he found that the challenge wasn't issued toward him but to Yu Zifeng. Three days from now, in the central plains end of the Heavens Valley, Jian Wachen of the Heavenly Sword Sect challenges Yu Zifeng. Who is Jian Wachen? Why would he challenge Yu Zifeng? Seeing the challenge, none of the Dragonblood warriors understood. This Jian Wachen is that masked sword cultivator who slew a supreme genius from the ancient era with one stroke of his sword, said Long Chen, his expression serious. He had heard of this person from Kujinying, a sword cultivator. Was this why he wanted to challenge Yu Zifeng? On the continent, the current brightest star of the junior generation sword cultivators was Yu Zifeng. Will Yu Zifeng accept the challenge? Wondered Meng Chi. Since the other side has issued such a challenge, he must be confident. Perhaps there's some unknown reason behind this. Long Chen clenched his fists. Long Chen, what are you thinking? Asked Meng Chi upon seeing Long Chen frown. This matter is coming too suddenly. Why would someone issue a challenge when the chi flow eruption is right around the corner? Long Chen shook his head, feeling an intense feeling of danger. Then what should we do? Asked Meng Chi. We'll keep acting according to normal. Three days from now, I'll go take a trip to see what's going on. Decided Long Chen. The Dragonblood warriors were a bit disappointed that they wouldn't be going. But they listened to his decision. Just at this moment. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's transportation formation lit up. Three thousand dragonblood warriors appeared on it. Haha, <laughs> you're finally back. Now it's our turn. The dragonblood warriors on this side cheered. The transportation formation had finally been successfully set up. This was all thanks to Xia Chen. Perhaps Xia Chen had worked himself to the point of white foam coming out of his mouth. He was really busy. All right, it's your turn. Hurry and get onto the transportation formation. Activating a double-sided transportation takes up a huge amount of energy. Don't waste time, shouted Long Chen. The dragonblood warriors on this side rushed over like a swarm of bees. The transportation formation was starting to shudder, and Long Chen was truly worried it wouldn't work. However, his worries were for naught. After a few seconds, space twisted, and those dragonblood warriors vanished. The 3,000 Dragonblood Warriors finally had a chance to rest. They had exhausted themselves, constantly fighting magical beasts or the devil race. Their taut nerves could relax at last. Xia Chen's really amazing. 
He was able to set up a transportation formation to move so many people, praised Meng Chi. Xia Chen was now someone the Dragonblood Legion couldn't lose. He was very important to them. The barrier between worlds will need to heal. To activate this formation again will need at least seven days. Meng Chi, sorry, I wanted you to go too, but I'm a bit worried about the people here. Long Chen looked at Meng Chi apologetically. Originally, he had wanted Meng Chi to go to the wild world and subdue a few magical beasts as houseputs. With her powerful spiritual strength, she could control an army of them. That would make her power rise to a terrifying level. However, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and Yi's Hikia were all in seclusion, and there were only 3,000 Dragonblood warriors here. Long Chen wasn't entirely at ease with just them here, so he had Meng Chi stay. Having not discussed this with Meng Chi or even asked her opinion about it, Long Chen felt himself to be too tyrannical. A few days earlier or later won't make a difference. With Wanner and the others still in seclusion, I couldn't go even if you wanted me to go. Meng Chi smiled sweetly, knowing that Long Chen did care about her. How is Cloud these days? I haven't seen her in a long time. I even miss that girl. Long Chen smiled. Cloud had been in the Myriad Spirit Diagram for a long time now. She's already in the final stages. However, to comprehend the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race's strongest divine abilities and fully awaken her bloodline will probably take at least a month, said Meng Chi. She was also full of expectations for cloud. The myriad spirit diagram contained the strongest divine abilities of all kinds of races. Due to absorbing the blue eye peacock's essence blood, cloud's blood had transformed, returning to an ancestral state. She was the only one who had a chance to awaken her ancestors' strongest divine abilities. If she did, she would be incomparably powerful. Originally, Long Chen was planning on accompanying Meng Chi during this time and just peacefully passing the days. He rarely had time to accompany her. However, Meng Chi, who understood what he was thinking, took the initiative in asking to refine pills with him, with the two of them working together. Long Chen was shocked to find that Meng Qi's spiritual strength was now several times stronger than his. Furthermore, her spiritual strength was incredibly pure. Even without summoning her manifestation, her power had risen to a shocking level. With Meng Qi's help, his efficiency in refining the Life Star Pill Sword, he practically didn't have to exhaust any of his own spiritual strength. Meng Qi's spiritual strength was replenishing itself as she used it. With her present, he could refine forever. On this day, Long Chen finally came out of seclusion. Everything within the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race was calm. They were all quietly cultivating. Long Chen told Meng Chi and the others to stay on guard. Although the large powers were unlikely to start any battles with the Qi flow eruption imminent, they still had to be careful. Long Chen left, going straight toward the end of the heavens valley. It was a very famous location on the Martial Heaven continent because many battles between experts had been fought there throughout history. The end of the Heavens Valley was located in the southern Xuan region and was to the south of the Skywood Divine Palace. When Long Chen flew by the Skywood Divine Palace, he saw the palace master speaking to the disciples about something. Due to the protective formation, he couldn't hear what they were saying. But as he flew by, the disciples all looked up and saw him. Long Chen's flying boat was no longer the one he had plundered from Pill Valley, but a special dragon head flying boat that Guo Ran had made especially for him. It was like a golden dragon soaring through the sky and was very easy to recognize. Long Chen stopped and bowed to the Skywood Divine Palace's master from a distance. This was a bow in thanks for how she had treated Chu Yao like her own daughter for so many years. The Skywood Divine Palace's disciples all became emotional. Long Chen was the strongest and most famous expert of the current era. He was capable of competing with the heavenly geniuses of the ancient era and even came out on top. Due to various factors, Long Chen could be considered related to the Skywood Divine Palace due to Chu Yao. This bow made the palace master smile slightly. Long Chen was still the old Long Chen. Even the endless slaughter that followed him hadn't changed that wild yet pure heart. After this bow, Long Chen smiled and waved to the disciples before continuing onward. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is so handsome. I feel like we should call him brother-in-law. 
Doesn't that sound closer? He's big sister Chu Yao's husband after all. With his support, it would be easier for us to roam the continent in the future. The majority of the Skywood Divine Palace's disciples were female, and they immediately began to chatter. Cough. At this point, one of the elders loudly coughed a few times, and only then did the disciples reserve themselves a bit. The palace master smiled looking at the excited disciples. Fortunately, Long Chen wasn't in the Skywood Divine Palace, or these disciples of hers might not even have the desire to keep cultivating. My Skywood Divine Palace does not participate in worldly affairs, but we cannot miss the Qi flow eruption. Sometimes it's important not to pass on our responsibilities to others. I've gathered you today so you can see a battle between true experts, said the palace master. The disciples immediately began to cheer, causing one of the elders to sternly shout, Silence. The palace master hasn't finished talking. Once people were quiet, the palace master continued, Normally, I only ask that you calmly cultivate. I tell you not to cause trouble. This is to cultivate your heart. Being able to control your mental state is beneficial to your advancement. After all, the disciples of the Skywood Divine Palace are wood cultivators, and slaughter is against your cultivation techniques. However, this does not represent that the Skywood Divine Palace can escape battle forever. When the Martial Heaven Continent is in danger, we also have to bring out our own power. We cannot let an opportunity to strengthen ourselves go by. We have no intention of fighting against others, but we will not allow others to take away what is ours. I know some disciples from other sects have been provoking us these days, but I have not permitted you to attack them. That is because experts must know restraint. It is easier to counterattack when you patiently wait for an opportunity. You all saw, Long Chen is going to a battle between two sword cultivators. It is now time for the Skywood Divine Palace to make a collective move as well. We'll show the world our power, or many people will want to bully us when the Qi flow eruption occurs. The palace master slowly stood. She waved her sleeve, and 18 beautiful women wearing emerald green robes also stood behind her. Move out. Chapter 2150 Jian Wachen's Origins The End of the Heavens Valley. It was a land of death where nothing grew, and it was all hard stone with countless cuts and scars. These scars were left behind by the various experts that had fought here. Their remnant aura made it so no vegetation could grow here, let alone vegetation. No insects or beasts would dare to get near here. They would be slain by the broken remnant laws. When Long Chen arrived, he saw a sea of people had gathered around the valley. Experts from various sects and powers had surrounded this place. Clearly, news of Jian Wachen's challenge of Yu Zifeng had spread throughout the continent. A match between peerless sword cultivators wasn't a show that anyone wanted to miss. Startled cries rang out when Long Chen's golden flying boat appeared. Long Chen's calm. Yu Zifeng is the fourth captain of the Dragonblood Legion. I wonder if Long Chen will make a move when the time comes. Unlikely. After all, Jian Yu Chen is challenging Yu Zifeng. Unless Yu Zifeng doesn't come. No one will have a valid reason for interfering in their battle. Jiang Wachen has never faced defeat. He's a genius who dominated a generation. As for Yu Zifeng, he's a brilliant genius, but he's from the junior generation. He hasn't reached the same level of prestige as Long Chen. So why would Jian Wachen challenge Yu Zifeng? Isn't that a case of bullying the weak? That's true. Yu Zifeng is just a captain of the Dragonblood Legion. Jian Wachen's challenge is a loss of status. You're all unaware. In truth, Yu Zifeng and Jian Wachen are from the same sect. An old man suddenly opened his mouth. What? How is that possible? It's true. Jian Wachen was once a disciple of the Heavenly Sword Gate, said the elder. If they're from the same sect, why would they want to kill each other? Because Jian Wachen was expelled from the sect as a renegade, the elder's words shocked everyone. Jian Wachen was actually a disciple of the Heavenly Sword Gate? But then why were there no rumors about it? The Heavenly Sword Gate is rather isolated and rarely interacts with the rest of the continent, entirely immersing itself in the way of the sword. They only have a few disciples and experts, so people don't know much about them. But it is a fact that Jian Wachen was a disciple of the Heavenly Sword Gate. There is a historical record of it. However, 
as to why the heavenly sword gate would expel such a genius from their sect. No one knows, said the elder. Hearing that, people came to their own guesses about why Jian Wuchen would challenge Yu Zifeng. Was it to humiliate the heavenly sword gate? If that was the case, Jian Wuchen must feel quite the hatred for the heavenly sword gate. Long Chen, over here. Long Chen's flying boat had just arrived when someone called out to him. Long Chen turned to see the fiery figured Bidang Rushuang. Long Chen flew over and put the flying boat away. Before he could even open his mouth, Bidang Rushuang hatefully said, Let me first warn you not to bring up anything romantic, or I'll shoot you into a sieve. Long Chen laughed. It seems that those words of his truly possessed destructive power. He actually made Bidang Rushuang afraid of them. Long Chen. This Jian Wuchen is quite powerful. Do you feel like your subordinate can win? Asked Bidang Rushuang. Let's make one thing clear first. Yu Zifeng isn't my subordinate but my brother. As for whether or not he can win, I don't know either. All I know is that Yu Zifeng's comprehension of the Sword Dao is the most terrifying of everyone I've known. There shouldn't be a problem, said Long Chen. Do you know how strong Jian Wuchen is? Bidang Rushuang told Long Chen about Jian Wuchen's history. Based on what I've heard, the reason Jian Wuchen was expelled is because he didn't listen to his master's orders. He secretly went into the Heavenly Sword Gate's inheritance land and learned the Sword God Dao Canon. Why would he do that? As long as he stayed within the Heavenly Sword Gate, wouldn't he have learned it sooner or later? Asked Long Chen. I don't know. This information isn't entirely solid, said Bidang Rushuang. Only the Heavenly Sword Gate would know the exact details. But what I heard was that he was still at the Xi'anshan realm when he was expelled. I don't know if he encountered some miracle or if it was enlightenment from the Sword God Dao Canon. But his sword art suddenly progressed explosively, allowing him to dominate his generation. In his era, he was an unrivaled existence. I heard he went to the Heavenly Sword Gate a second time, begging to be accepted but the Heavenly Sword Gate locked their doors and refused to see him for three days and nights. It is said that in his fury, he swore to kill all the Heavenly Sword Gate's disciples. As a result, the sect master of that time personally went out to kill him in response, but it's unclear what happened afterward. Some say that Jian Wuchen was killed by the Gate Master, while others say that the Gate Master had mercy in the end and decided to accept him into the Heavenly Sword Gate. Either way, there are plenty of stories and no way to verify them. All that can be said is that after that, Jian Wuchen never reappeared in the world until now. I didn't expect that he would also have been sealed. He has regained the arrogance of a sword cultivator and slain quite a few people. It seems that this Jian Wuchen isn't a good egg then, muttered Long Chen. Someone who would betray his sect and then curse the sect that had given him everything he had was definitely garbage. Although he didn't know much about the Heavenly Sword Gate, he knew that Ling Yunzi had joined it, and that Yu Zifeng could be considered Ling Yunzi's disciple, making him also a disciple of the Heavenly Sword Gate. With Long Chen's understanding of Yu Zifeng, he knew that if Yu Zifeng didn't feel any respect for the Heavenly Sword Gate, he wouldn't have accepted going there. I've seen him before. He is incredibly arrogant. It's irritating how he acts like everyone should be beneath his sword. If only I had a reason to, I really would want to test him. Bidang Rushuang patted the bow on her back. Clearly, Jian Wuchen hadn't left a good impression on her. However, by patting the bow, waves appeared on her chest. Long Chen took the side in. Bidang Rushuang wore skin-tight black leather armor which clung tightly to her skin. That made Long Chen swallow hard. Brat, you want to die, is that it? Where do you think you're looking with your perverted eyes? Bidang Rushuang clenched her fists and waved one of them beneath Long Chen's nose menacingly. Miss Bidang, your body is really amazing. Do you have some kind of secret art you can teach my women? Long Chen ignored Bidang Rushuang's threat and praised her. You, you pervert. Bidang Rushuang turned red. Long Chen was absolutely shameless, and he didn't bother concealing it at all. Don't curse others. This is innate. Praising a beauty for the truth is better than sweet talking, right? Don't be so stingy and share, said Long Chen, shamelessly. Bastard, this is all natural rage beating Rushuang through clenched teeth. Countless experts had secretly drooled over her, but no one had ever come up to her and asked her for advice on such a matter. Fortunately, 
there wasn't really any pervertedness in Long Chen's eyes, or Bidang Rushuang might really bring out her bow and shoot holes through him. How regretful, sighed Long Chen. Bastard, if you keep looking, I'll tear your eyes out, warned Bidang Rushuang. Long Chen obediently pulled his gaze back. It was difficult because her body was extremely eye-catching. Looking behind her, Long Chen saw dozens of young disciples from the Bidang family, all of them being awakened Empyreans. Although they concealed their auras, Long Chen could still sense a powerful pressure from them. They were all experts amongst experts. However, most of them were men, and they were glaring at Long Chen coldly with a trace of hostility. Long Chen realized that his teasing had been heard by them. It seemed that they were very dissatisfied with how he treated Bidang Rushuang. On the other hand, the few women didn't show any hostility. Instead, they seemed to be curious. Perhaps they couldn't imagine how this sloppy fellow before them was the Long Chen that had shaken the entire continent. Noveloon.com Have you been busy lately? Bidang Rushuang relaxed slightly once Long Chen wasn't looking at her so hotly. Me? I'm not busy. I've repented and mended my eyes. I'm no longer killing people. I read some books and drink some tea. A while ago, I suddenly had an impulse to go chat with the sovereign about life, said Long Chen. The women behind Bidang Rushuang laughed, while the men looked at him disdainfully. You shouldn't brag every time you open your mouth. Good friends don't talk that way, said Bidang Rushuang. What? I'm not bragging. It's the truth. Fine. You don't have to believe it, said Long Chen indifferently. Can a person die from not bragging for a day? Tell me then, which sovereign did you go find for a chat? Asked Bidang Rushuang. It was with suddenly, a ruckus occurred in the distance. Long Chen looked over, and his jaw dropped. Why would he come here? Chapter 2151 The Corrupt God Cemetery A handsome man with a bow was walking through the air gracefully. His every move possessed the air of an expert. Unfortunately, the trace of baby fat left on his face and the unconcealable shamelessness in his eyes broke that image. This person was someone that Long Chen hadn't seen in a long time. Mo Nian. Mo Nian swaggered over. Just the way he walked made people feel an urge to slap him. Mo Nian's arrival caused a huge ruckus. It was like cold water had been thrown into a pot of boiling oil. Countless people glared at him while clenching their teeth furiously. They looked like they wanted to tear him apart. Ten years I wandered with my bow, my arrows causing heaven and earth to shake. The nine heavens, ten lands, and all the universe will revolve around me. Only I, Mo Nian, will rise to glory. Mo Nian recited a shameless phrase once more. Hearing it gave Long Chen goosebumps. Fuck you, Mo Nian, I'll kill you. One of the ancient family alliance's experts pounced at Mo Nian like a vicious wolf. His eyes were completely red. The experts of the ancient family alliance weren't the only ones infuriated by his appearance. Almost half of the experts present charged toward him. It was a shocking sight. Mo Nian, you irredeemable fiend. How dare you rob my family's ancestral tomb. I'll tear you to pieces. Mo Nian, I'll eat your flesh, drink your blood, and grind your bones to dust. Mo Nian, your evil deeds have brought your death today. Those experts looked so angry that it was a bit frightening. It was like they were seeing the person that had slain their father. He is Mo Nian, asked Bidang Rushuang. I heard the two of you are brothers. You're really just as bad as each other. You're surrounded by enemies throughout the world, while he's detested by everyone. You two are a perfect match. Bidang Rushuang had very accurate information about everyone relevant on the Martial Heaven continent. An everlasting family naturally had to be up to date. Mo Nian in particular was a marvel. After all, it could be considered an unprecedented miracle throughout the Martial Heaven continent's history that a person could rob so many people's ancestral tombs without being killed. I feel like I'm a bit better than him. At the very least, I'm not hated to this extent. Long Chen rubbed his chin. Based on the reactions to their arrivals, he should be one level better. At the very least, he hadn't been attacked by half the experts present. HMPH. A wild mob dares to speak such arrogant words. Mo Nian snorted. He waved his hand through the air, and a slender thread appeared in the air like a bowstring. Upon seeing that, Bidang Rushuang's disdainful expression became one of shock. The earth is my bow. The heavens are my string? 
Has he actually reached this realm? Mo Nian plucked the string. The void shuddered, and a ripple blew back the experts pouncing toward him. With just a wave of his hand, he blew back tens of thousands of experts like they were rotten wood. For a moment, everyone was stuck in stunned silence. Soaking in everyone's shocked gazes, Mo Nian clasped his hands behind him and solemnly said, I don't want to kill people, so don't force me. As for your ancestors' graves, that's because your ancestors once committed grave sins against my Mogate. Enmities naturally have to be avenged, but as an upright person, I don't feel like misplacing blame. Your ancestors are the ones who made mistakes, so I haven't placed any enmity on you. Is getting justice from your ancestors underground wrong? You robbed our tombs, brought the corpses into the sun, and stole all the funerary objects. Mo Nian, how can you be so shameless as to make it sound righteous? Roars of fury rang out. Cough, you can't put it like that. Vengeance has interest too. After so much time, I naturally had to get some interest. Taking some of those things was simply correct. As for bringing your ancestors out into the sun, you can't blame me. In the yin yang world, you shamelessly attacked me. Long Chen might be a pushover, but I'm not. We originally had an agreement that he would kill the living while I dug up the dead. But even after I dug up everyone, Long Chen didn't manage to kill more than a few before stopping. Long Chen, you coward. You were conning me, weren't you? In the end, Mo Nian shouted at Long Chen, drawing everyone's attention to Long Chen. What? When had he agreed to that? Mo Nian was digging up people's tombs to restore the power of the five element sun hunting bow, but now he made it sound like it was all for Long Chen. Too shameless. Long Chen, you're also trash. The two of you are scourges of the martial heaven continent, and sooner or later, you'll face your miserable deaths. One of the ancient race experts was shouting, but before people could understand what was happening, Mo Nian waved a hand and that expert collapsed. A hole in his head. That person was a powerful Empyrean who, based on his aura, had awakened his manifestation. But in front of Mo Nian, he didn't have any ability to resist. In fact, the experts present didn't even grasp what kind of attack Mo Nian had just launched. The furious experts fell silent, no longer daring to casually curse them. You can curse me, but you can't insult my brother or you'll die. Mo Nian snorted and walked over to Long Chen. Long Chen clapped his forehead as he suddenly realized that Mo Nian was using him as an excuse to kill someone and show off his power. Furthermore, he actually put Long Chen in his debt by doing so. This fellow's shamelessness far surpassed his combat power. The death of that ancient race expert was done in such a way that the other experts didn't dare to say a word in response, afraid that they would be the next. Haha, <laughs> it's been a while. Mo Nian walked over. Long Chen helplessly extended his arms for a hug, but unexpectedly, this fellow went right past him and toward Bidang Rushuang. Long Chen's movement stiffened. I hear after being conned, Long Chen silently extended a leg, tripping Mo Nian, causing Mo Nian to tumble toward Bidang Rushuang. A runic arrow appeared in Bidang Rushuang's hand. It was pointed straight at Mo Nian's heart. Mo Nian's arms were originally spread for a hug but now they were raised into the air. Do I know you? Bidang Rushuang looked up and down Mo Nian. Ah, I've long since heard of Fairy Rushuang's great name, so we can count as friends, said Mo Nian awkwardly, slowly backing up. What a shifty-eyed fool. Both of you are rotten eggs. Bidang Rushuang snorted and put away her runic arrow. Cough. Serves you right. Cough. Long Chen had a sudden coughing fit. Long Chen, that's where you're wrong. I'm taking a break from my research of archaeology to help you out. But you laugh at my misfortune? Doesn't your conscience hurt? Asked Mo Nian. Give it up. I feel like if you didn't come, at least half the people here wouldn't make a move against me. Said Long Chen. As soon as Mo Nian arrived, he sensed profound hostility from others. Their hatred for Mo Nian had now spread to him. He, good brother should share. Chortled Mo Nian. He pulled Long Chen to the side and whispered, Are you interested in doing something big with me? What? Is there some big business? Asked Long Chen. Yes, a supreme bit of business. Through my years of Gravarabing cough, I mean archaeology. After so many years of archaeology, I've accumulated experience. 
I've gone through the tombs of the various large powers. I no longer feel the challenge. That's why I'm planning on something harder. Something that will allow my archaeology skills to advance to a new level. Said Mo Nyan mysteriously. Stop saying so many useless things and get to the important part. What are you planning? I want to go rob the corrupt god cemetery. Said Mo Nyan. Even Long Chen didn't expect Mo Nyan to have set his sights on the corrupt god cemetery. That was the most mysterious of the Martial Heaven Continent's seven danger zones. It was also the one that people knew the least about. This danger zone was in the corrupt god's world. Legend had it that the experts that obtained the corrupt god's special care were qualified to be buried there. But as for what exactly was inside, no one knew. In fact, it was unknown whether it really existed or not. Are you being serious? You've found the corrupt god cemetery, asked Long Chen. Of course I'm serious. I've found the entrance to the corrupt god cemetery, but I'm not confident enough to go on my own. I'm thinking that when we all have time, let's go with Xia Chen and Guo Ran. We can go for a stroll in the corrupt god cemetery and see if there's anything good. Even if there isn't anything good, robbing the corrupt god cemetery will definitely shake the entire world. I'll become the number one figure in the archaeology world's history, said Mo Nian excitedly. I feel like your thinking is too imaginative. That place is filled with dangers. Let me put it to you this way. I could be enticed, said Long Chen. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. Once you have time, we can discuss the details, said Mo Nian. Hey, do you two even care about your lives? Asked Bidang Rushuang. You, are you eavesdropping? Asked Mo Nian. Eavesdropping? You don't have a sound blocking screen up. Who can't hear it? Said Bidang Rushuang. Only then did Mo Nian realize that the people nearby weren't the Dragonblood Legion but the Bidang family's disciples. Don't worry, my subordinates aren't talkative. But I should warn you, if you do go to that place, you will definitely die. Said Bidang Rushuang. Chapter 2152 An Alluring Attack Really? The corrupt god cemetery can't be entered, asked Mo Nian. Going there was currently his best option for getting rich quickly. Do you even know the origins of the corrupt god cemetery? Asked Bidang Rushuang. Long Chen and Mo Nian exchanged a glance and shook their heads. All they knew was that there was definitely good stuff there. Bidang Rushuang was speechless. You don't even know the situation. Yet you dare to set your sights on it? Your guts are too big. Guts equal profits, said Mo Nian solemnly. Pa, do you even know why the corrupt god cemetery is called the corrupt god cemetery? It's because the corrupt god's true corpse is buried within. No one dares to enter, not even the master of the corrupt path, said Bidang Rushuang. Isn't it said that the corrupt path's supreme experts will be buried inside when they die? Asked Long Chen. That's right. Those old monsters of the corrupt path were definitely buried with some good stuff. Of course, I'm not doing this for those treasures but to research history. Yes, I'm a researcher of history, said Mo Nian. If it's impossible to enter, how did those corpses get in? Did they fly in by themselves you simply don't understand. If it was anyone else, I wouldn't bother saying anything. But fine. The people who carry the coffins into the corrupt god cemetery are all buried inside as well. If you want to become a funerary object as well, do as you please, said Bidang Rushuang indifferently. Hearing that, Long Chen and Mo Nian nodded at the same time and said in unison, It seems that we'll need a surefire plan. The two of them were still set on going to the corrupt god cemetery. Bidang Rushuang almost got angry but she couldn't be bothered to waste any more effort on these two crazy guys. When she had said that the corrupt god's true body was entombed there, both their eyes had lit up at the same time. Ah, about that, Sister Rushuang, Mo Nian put on his warmest smile. Don't smile so sinisterly. If you have something to say, say it directly. Also, don't call me sister. We're not so close, said Bidang Rushuang immediately. Mo Nian's smile stiffened. When it came to picking up girls, he was still lacking. He beckoned to Long Chen. You handle her. Long Chen almost hit him for saying that. What kind of friend conned you all the time? However, Bidang Rushuang was ignoring Mo Nian. So Long Chen said, Ah, about that. Haha, <laughs> in truth, we just want to know a bit about the corrupt god cemetery. 
Can Ferry Rushuang make things convenient for us? Why do I have to make things convenient for you? Let me tell you, it's very inconvenient for me right now. Bidang Rushuang immediately started putting on the airs of an important person. This was Long Chen's first time talking to her from such a subservient point. If she didn't get some revenge now, when would she? Inconvenient? What? Have your monthlies come? Long Chen spoke randomly without thinking about it. When he realized what had come out of his mouth, he immediately tried to run. However, Bidang Rushuang's body suddenly twisted like a cheetah. Long Chen's vision flashed, and before he could even tell what she was doing, her arm was wrapped around his neck. This was an alluring move. Of course, this alluring move wasn't something that just anyone could be blessed with. The earth shook as Long Chen was smashed into the ground with Bidang Rushuang still clenching his neck. The earth split open, and it was vaguely possible to hear creaking sounds coming from Long Chen's neck. The Bidang family's disciples standing behind Bidang Rushuang shrank back, feeling a chill around their necks. Perhaps others didn't know about Bidang Rushuang's moves, but they did. She wasn't just skilled at long-range attacks. Her movements in close-range combat were equally sharp. This was one of Bidang Rushuang's best moves. She rarely used it, but anyone she used it on would of their neck snap. Even Long Chen, with his thick skin, felt a sharp pain from his neck as if it would be pulled off. Mo Nian jumped in shock. He hadn't thought that Bidang Rushuang would suddenly become so vicious. If he was struck by this move, he estimated that his head would already be off. As a result, he finally felt some sympathy for Long Chen. Even picking up girls had dangers lying within. Long Chen, I've endured you for a long time. Do you want to try repeating what you just said? Bidang Rushuang finally gained a chance to act out against him. The arm she was using to choke him was the arm she used for pulling back her bowstring. Her muscles were very defined even through the leather. Long Chen twisted and turned his head, and as a result, it ended up mashed between two tough mountains. He tried to struggle, but his neck was caught, and he was unable to escape. Bidang Rushuang was completely focused on venting by tightly clenching his neck. She forgot to take this awkward positioning into consideration. Long Chen kicked and flailed, but Bidang Rushuang refused to allow him to turn. Suddenly, she realized that another group of people had appeared nearby, staring at her oddly. Nangong Zuayu had arrived. Cough. Sorry for intruding. We'll come back another time. Nangong Zuayu turned and walked away. Only then did Bidang Rushuang notice countless experts in the distance staring at her in shock and realized that Long Chen's face was pressed against her chest. She immediately flung Long Chen away, and he tumbled across the ground several times before being able to stand. When he rose, people felt a chill from their spines. Long Chen's head was now facing his back. Cracking sounds rang out as Long Chen twisted his head back with his hands, shaking it a few times. He realized that he had underestimated just how powerful Bidang Rushuang was. The power she had used was an ancient, mysterious force. If she had wanted to kill him just now, without being prepared, his head might have really been wrung off. What are you looking at? Hurry and thank Miss Bidang for her nurturing. Oh, I mean, her favor of not killing you. Mo Nian hastily changed his words when he saw Bidang Rushuang raise her hand to her bow. Mo Nian. Just you wait. Long Chen nodded at Mo Nian. He had truly been conned by this fellow today. He would remember this debt. Many thanks for showing mercy, Miss Bidang, said Long Chen. So, Mo Nian, let me introduce you to the peerless fairy Nangong Zuayu who is as gentle as water. Pointing at Mo Nian, Long Chen said, This person is someone who likes robbing tombs and graves. If he can't beat you, he'll still annoy you to death. He is Mr. Mo Nian. Mo Nian knew that Long Chen wouldn't give him a good introduction, so he immediately said, Fairy Zuayu, don't listen to his nonsense. In truth, I am researching the relics of our ancient history and reviving the ancient era civilization. My hope is to be a pioneer who can bring back the age of immortals. Although the continent doesn't really approve of my profession, I am confident that one day, I will be like the sun that blows away the black clouds and let the whole world cheer for me. Do you see that? Rushuang, you said I was the most shameless person in the world, but I refused to accept that. Now do you understand? 
Just listen to this fellow's self-introduction. Do you feel like there's anyone who can compare to him? Long Chen seemed to have expected Mo Nian's words and immediately followed up. As expected, you're both more shameless than the other, said Bidang Rushuang. After encountering Mo Nian, she truly found that bestowing the title of the number one most shameless person in the world to Long Chen had been premature. Mo Nian wanted to argue some more, but Long Chen didn't give him a chance. He directly set up a sound barrier for the four of them to talk. Miss Zuayu, I have some things I'd like your advice on. Do you know much about the corrupt god cemetery? Long Chen gave up on asking Bidang Rushuang. Nangong Zuayu was much gentler, and asking her was safer. The corrupt god cemetery? Why would you ask about it? Asked Nangong Zuayu. The two of them want to go gravarabing, interjected Bidang Rushuang. Nangong Zuayu looked at the two of them like they were monsters. She wasn't quite able to wrap her mind around the concept. Rob the corrupt god's tomb? Fairy Zuayu, don't listen to Fairy Rushuang. She's just telling a joke. The truth is that this is all part of a study. Yes, a study to see if there are any ways to further develop ourselves, said Mo Nian. Nangong Zuayu hesitated. I know a bit, but not as much as Fairy Rushuang. You should have Fairy Rushuang explain it instead. Long Chen knew that this was because Nangong Zuaya was more meticulous and knew that the two of them might have asked Bidang Rushuang, only to end up in the awkward scenario she had seen when she arrived. If she directly answered, it would make Bidang Rushuang unhappy. This embodied Nangong Zuaya's character, just like her spiritual Yuan attribute. She didn't like fighting or being conspicuous. Then may I ask Fairy Rushuang for pointers? I'm listening well. Long Chen put on a grateful and obedient expression. If he continued messing around, Bidang Rushuang might refuse to say anything, and Nangong Zuaya would definitely not say much in consideration for her. Bidang Rushuang almost laughed at Long Chen's fake obedience. She said, The corrupt god cemetery is the corrupt path's greatest support. It is the wellspring of their divine energy. But the most frightening thing is that if they used the corrupt god's corpse, this entire world would face a calamity. Chapter 2153 Zeman Shai Anxian What's with the corrupt god's corpse? Asked Mo Nian. When Bidang Rushuang explained it, Long Chen and Mo Nian both jumped in shock. The corrupt god's corpse had laid within the corrupt god cemetery all this time. In truth, throughout the corrupt path's history, there had been many corrupt gods to ascend. Those ascenders left behind their own mortal skulls, essence blood, or some other inheritance objects as they ascended. However, those were not the true corrupt god. They could be considered the heirs of the true corrupt god's Tao. The true first generation corrupt god had left his complete mortal corpse buried within the corrupt god cemetery for future generations of the corrupt path to worship. Future experts of the corrupt path that managed to ascend had their bodies buried inside there as well so that they could continue to accompany the corrupt god. Legend was that the corrupt god cemetery was where the corrupt path's karmic luck was gathered. It was the strongest foundation for the corrupt path, and there was an unimaginable amount of divine energy gathered inside. If it was forced awake, then that corpse would probably absorb all the corrupt path's karmic luck to strengthen itself and then destroy the world. Is it really so terrifying Long Chen and Mo Nian couldn't help asking? This had exceeded their expectations. It is. Even when the corrupt path was in a weak state, the righteous path did not dare to force them into despair because the entire world is afraid of the corrupt god cemetery. That is why they can run rampant and slaughter with the righteous path only being able to defend. They cannot strike deep into the heart of the corrupt path, said Nangong Zuayu. All right. Then we'll shelve this matter. We'll go once we're stronger. No matter what, I have to go take a look at the corrupt path's ancestral tomb. This is my target, my belief, my life's greatest challenge. Mo Nian clenched his fists and swore an oath. Even Nangong Zuayu couldn't help shaking her head. Had Mo Nian gotten addicted to gravarabing? All right, remember to call me when the time comes. Long Chen nodded. The corrupt path was a group of brainwashed madmen. He also wanted to see what the founder of this brainwashed organization looked like. Go then. Have the corrupt god's corpse bite you to death, said Bidang Rushuang irritably. Being bitten to death is better than being choked to death. 
Long Chen mumbled to himself and glanced at Bi Dang Rushuang's chest. Bi Dang Rushuang was lightning quick. Her fingers were like hooks clawing at Long Chen's arm. But this time, Long Chen was prepared and slipped away like a mudfish. Long Chen laughed inside. Did she think he would fall for the same move twice? When he was on guard, Bi Dang Rushuang wouldn't be able to grab him so easily. You shouldn't keep fighting. Dong Fang Yuiang has arrived, said Nang Gong Zuiu. Long Chen saw a group of people slowly walking out of a flying boat that had just arrived. They caused quite a disturbance. Dong Fang Yuiang was as handsome as ever. He nodded toward the maidens who cheered at his arrival. With his warm smile and pure white robes, it went without saying that he was truly elegant. Behind Dong Fang Yuiang were 30 some disciples of the Dong Fang family. Every one of them was very young, but they were fully awakened Empyreans. The Stone Races people have also come. Quiet voices rang out, and as expected, Long Chen looked over to see a group of large figures walking over. Long Chen immediately recognized the one eyed Shai Ling Feng. Shai Ling Feng also saw Long Chen, and his remaining eye smoldered with hatred. It seems that he's become much stronger. Long Chen was a bit surprised. His spiritual perception was telling him that Shai Ling Feng was more frightening than before. He has most likely started inheriting the Stone Emperor's abilities. You should be careful around him. He'll only get stronger, warned Nang Gong Zuiu quietly. Long Chen nodded. These ancient powers definitely couldn't be underestimated. Their foundations were extremely profound. The Pill Fairy has also come, said Mo Nian, looking at Long Chen. He sighed inside. Originally, he had thought that the two of them would end up together, but the Pill Fairy had gone from a kind person to a cold killer who wanted Long Chen dead. Following the Pill Fairy were the disciples of Pill Valley. The surprising thing was that these disciples were covered in divine flames and exceptionally fierce auras. They were all powerful flame cultivators. When did Pill Valley get so many powerful Empyreans? Long Chen was shocked. Each of these disciples was like a volcano ready to explode. Such powerful experts had not been present during the Brahma secret realm. If it was just one or two, Long Chen could understand as hiding one's trump cards was normal. But there were over 30 of them, and they were all awakened Empyreans. This couldn't be accidental. Their auras were all steady like they had awakened their manifestations a long while ago. Long Chen looked at them. Although they seemed young, there was a certain look in their eyes, one that spoke of times past. Experts sealed during the ancient era Long Chen's heart shook as he guessed the origin of these experts. The pill fairy didn't speak to anyone. She only glanced at Long Chen before finding a spot for herself, and someone set up a chair for her to sit in. A few people had been standing in that general area, but they immediately scattered once the pill fairy went over, giving her a very wide space. She came to kill me. Long Chen had a helpless expression. How do you know? Asked Bi Dang Rushuang. The two of us control the same flame. Hence, the killing intent inside her can be sensed by my flame. Now I understand why Jian Wuchen would challenge Yu Zifeng at this time. Sighed Long Chen. The gaze in his eyes grew sharper. You mean they're working together to target you? Asked Mo Nian. Most likely. Or they want to kill two birds with one stone. Said Long Chen. Don't worry, with your brother here, no one will be able to touch you. Mo Nian patted his chest. You have more enemies than me. If a fight starts, I'll probably be dragged down by you, said Long Chen. Long Chen. Suddenly, a familiar voice rang out. Yi Lingxian had also come, bringing with her 30 disciples wearing the robes of the Martial Heaven Alliance. These disciples were also awakened Empyreans. However, their auras were clearly weaker and they were fluctuating a bit. Long Chen knew that these disciples had just awakened their manifestations recently, and they had relied on medicinal pills. However, the pills that they had used weren't ones refined by him. They had been refined by the Huai Insect. The Huai Insect also had medicinal pills that could help an Empyrean awaken. However, their pills couldn't compare to a top-grade hundred flower deresonation pill, nor were they tribulation pills. Each person would need to consume 10 of these pills to greatly improve their chance of awakening their manifestation. The Huai insect had announced the matter of these pills, which caused quite some waves. The fact that they had the power to refine 11th tier pills was shocking. 
and with that ability, they had helped raise a new batch of experts for the Martial Heaven Alliance. These 30 disciples had become the perfect billboards for the Huaian sect wherever they went. They silently spread words of the Huaian sect's power. The Huaian sect was finally making a move and starting to stand on an equal level with Pill Valley in the medicinal pill market. Moreover, they also started wrestling away the business of the high-grade treasures. Countless sects that had once conducted business with them were bearing witness to the Huaian sect's true power. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Those disciples immediately bowed toward Long Chen worshipfully. Although Yi Lingxian was the future leader of the Martial Heaven Alliance, Long Chen was the pillar lifting that alliance up. I remember you. In the Yun Yang world, you took a saber attack to protect your brother. Well done. Long Chen nodded toward one of those disciples and raised a thumb. That person had a long scar on his face, which had been left there by a blade from a corrupt paths expert. The insidious energy contained within it had left a scar on his face permanently. Long Chen still remembered it, as it had left quite an impression on him to see a disciple of the Martial Heaven Alliance take a blow for a fellow disciple. As a result, that disciple was moved beyond words just by the fact that Long Chen remembered him. Long Chen patted him on the shoulder. There was no need to say any more. The other disciples were also moved. In their eyes, Long Chen was a true hero, someone in touch with the common people. In their hearts, he was already like a god. Compared to other experts that gave off a cold feeling of aloofness, they preferred the likes of Long Chen and Mo Nian who didn't care about their status. They were unconstrained by such affairs. Long Chen, my master warns you to be cautious. She feels like this challenge is too sudden, said Yi Lingxian to him quietly after greeting Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu. Hey, Miss Lingxian, are you ignoring me? I'm so big. Is it possible that you didn't see me? Asked an aggrieved Mo Nian. Yi Lingxian had forgotten to greet him. Yi Lingxian merely glared at him, indicating for him to not interrupt. Long Chen nodded. Yes, I feel the same way. Just at this moment, rumbling rang out from the sky. A giant war chariot came flying over like a shooting star. It's the Zeman family's heaven-piercing war chariot. Zeman Shiangsheng must have come, said Bidang Rushuang. Startled. Chapter 2154 Yu Zifen arrives The heaven-piercing war chariot was an important treasure of the Zeman family. It possessed immense divine power that put it on the same level of fame as the Dongfang family's ancient city. Legend said that it was made of a star that had come from beyond the heavens. Its history was ancient. When the heaven-piercing war chariot landed on the ground, the earth shook, the door opened, and a tall, muscular man walked out. He had large eyes and bushy eyebrows. His figure looked like it had been carved by a knife. That's Zeman Shiangsheng, said Bidang Rushuang. Zeman Shiangsheng was the Zeman family's strongest genius of its entire history. His era had been even earlier than Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang's times. When he reached his peak, the others had yet to be born. It was said that he was the first peerless genius to appear after the five sovereigns. His existence could not be taken lightly. His gaze sharply swept through the crowd. When he saw Dongfang Yuyang and the others, he merely paused ever so slightly. But upon seeing Long Chen, he narrowed his eyes and directly walked over. You are Long Chen. Long Chen was already used to people targeting him. So he indifferently said, If you have something to say, say it. Zeman Shiangsheng nodded. Then tell me, are you colluding with the original devil race? Zeman Shiangsheng's eyes were tightly locked onto Long Chen, and a powerful pressure pressed down on him. Put away your aura. Your spiritual strength isn't enough to probe my inner heart. You wouldn't be able to tell if I was lying. If you want to target me, then you can attack right now. If not, then put away your hostility. I don't like being glared at by others, said Long Chen coldly. Long Chen's spiritual strength was so powerful that unless it was Meng Chi who had awakened a heaven soul manifestation or someone using an extremely powerful spiritual art, no one could observe his spiritual fluctuations to tell if he was lying or not. Zeman Shiangsheng was looking down on him too much. Zeman Shiangsheng glared at him for a while before saying, Fine, don't let me catch you doing such a thing. The original devil race is the enemy of the entire martial heaven continent. After the five sovereigns were gone, 
they tried to overthrow the continent, almost destroying the entire world. If you are colluding with them then I, Zeman Shiangsheng, will be the first to cut off your head. After saying that, Zeman Shiangsheng didn't give Long Chen a chance to talk back. He returned to the side of his war chariot. The Zeman family's disciples had already set up a seat for him. Zeman Shiangsheng sat, closing his eyes in meditation. This fellow's plenty arrogant, said Mo Nian irritably. He is qualified to be arrogant. He is the first true expert to come after the five sovereigns. During those early times, the laws of heaven and earth were more complete. The heavenly deos that people like him comprehended are on another level compared to us. We might be on the same level right now because we're all at the first vestige of life star. But once the chi flow eruption occurs and everyone goes all out absorbing it to increase their power, the difference will become clear. So even if you want to make enemies, there's no need for you to turn him into one as well. Long Chen, you don't even know how many Loki figures are currently waiting for the chi flow eruption to bear their fangs, said Bidang Rushuang. Even someone as strong as her felt a bit regretful about being born in the wrong era. After the time of the five sovereigns, the laws of the heavenly deos had started to break down. Spiritual chi had grown sparser, and resources had diminished. Even after all these years, no one had managed to rise to a level anywhere near a sovereign or even an emperor. That showed the decline of the martial heaven continent. With each era, the experts of the continent grew weaker. Long Chen's era was considered a declined era, and this chi flow eruption was likely the last chi flow eruption of the continent. If no sovereign class expert appeared after the chi flow eruption, then the entire martial heaven continent would be destroyed. These geniuses of the ancient era had bet their entire lives on this chi flow eruption. This was everyone's last chance. Being courteous to them won't help me, said Long Chen. The important thing is that I don't have their foundation. I don't have a powerful sect or family to support me. The more courteous I am to them, the more they'll think I'm afraid. So I'd rather be direct as they spoke. More experts gathered. Quite a few people went to greet Dong Fang Yuyang, showing just how influential he was. Curious, why don't I see Kun Pengzi around? Asked Mo Nian. Last time, that fellow chased me and made me cough up blood. I was preparing to get even with him this time. You fought against Kun Pengzi? Who won? Asked Bidang Rushuang, startled that this wretched fellow could fight Kun Pengzi. It couldn't count as a fight. I just happened to run into the Xuan Beast sacred land. My hands were a bit itchy, so I was thinking of going through it. But the Xuan Beasts are too petty. A large group of them came out to kill me, and amongst them was Kun Pengzi. I couldn't beat them. So after exchanging a few blows with him, I ran. I even coughed up a few mouthfuls of blood. I was going to return the favor today, said Mo Nian hatefully. You ran into the Xuan Beast sacred land? Are you referring to the Peng Emperor spirit platform? Asked Bidang Rushuang, eyes large in disbelief. Yup, you wanted to rob the Peng Emperor's burial ground? That's where the flesh of the Peng Emperor resides. It is jointly worshipped by all the Xuan Beasts, and you dared to rob it. Bidang Rushuang continued to look at Mo Nian like he was a monster. No, it wasn't robbery but a misunderstanding. My profession simply requires me to study things this way, said Mo Nian hastily to correct her. Bidang Rushuang was speechless as she looked at Mo Nian. Then she looked at Long Chen. It was no wonder the two of them had become good brothers. They were both crazy. Just at this moment, the crowd burst into startled cries. Yu Zifeng had arrived. Yu Zifeng immediately came to Long Chen's side. Boss, Brother Mo, do you know what's going on with Jian Wachen? Why is he challenging you? Asked Long Chen. He is a traitor of the Heavenly Sword Gate. After coming out, he slew two disciples of the Heavenly Sword Gate that were experiencing the world. This public challenge toward me is his attempt at humiliating the Heavenly Sword Gate. As a former disciple, he knows the pride of sword cultivators and he knows that the elders can't touch him without dirtying themselves. So when his challenge arrived at the Heavenly Sword Gate, I directly agreed. This time, I'll clean up the doors of the Heavenly Sword Gate, said Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng was rarely angered, but this time, his eyes were filled with surging killing intent. 
He would not tolerate Jian Wuchen's despicable method of blaspheming the heavenly sword gate. Long Chen nodded. All right. Once you kill Jian Wuchen, I'll celebrate with you. Yu Zifan also nodded. He walked toward the center of the valley and sat on a rock. He didn't say another word. Long Chen, are you really not going to warn your brother? Jian Wuchen is an extremely terrifying person, said Bidang Rushuang. Long Chen shook his head. There is no need for that. As a sword cultivator, he doesn't need to know how strong his opponent is. He just needs to understand his sword. Even Long Chen had to be somewhat afraid of fighting Yu Zifeng. When he had learned the eighth form of Split the Heavens, he had finally understood the essence of Yu Zifeng's sword Dao. In that aspect, Yu Zifeng had long since surpassed him. Yu Zifeng was the most miraculous existence in the Dragonblood Legion, and also the existence that could not be estimated. Ever since Ling Yunzi had wiped away the power of the heavenly Dao fruit in Yu Zifeng's body, his spiritual Yuan, soul, and even the power of his astral space had become lacking. He was normally as weak as a piece of paper, but when he took out his sword, he became a completely different person, someone so powerful that even the heavens could not constrain him. He was an existence of limitless possibilities. He didn't need his spiritual yuan. He didn't need his spiritual strength. He didn't need his astral energy. All his power came from his sword. With Yu Zifeng present, the Dragonblood Legion understood what a true sword cultivator was. Their entire bodies and souls were devoted to their swords. It was a completely incomprehensible cultivation path for others. Yu Zifeng was the fourth captain, but on the contrary, his power was the greatest amongst the four captains. When he took out his sword, there was nothing he could not cut, not even the heavenly deos. Seeing Yu Zifeng now, Long Chen felt him to be like a sheathed sword. His aura was retracted, so he must have progressed even further in the heavenly sword gate. In this state, even Long Chen wouldn't say that he could win against Yu Zifeng, so he wasn't too worried. Long Chen, there's one thing I find curious. Why is it that with so many monsters in your Dragonblood Legion, they all admire you so much? Asked Bidang Rushuang. She saw that Yu Zifeng had entered a state of forgetting everything but himself. A realm of being one with the heavens. Because I give them food to eat, a place to live, and money to spend. I bring them to plunder money. I drink with them. I provide them with all the basic necessities. So they're naturally doing well with me. What? Are you moved as well? If you are, you should leave the Bidang family and join me. I guarantee you'll have good food and drink for as long as you want. You won't need to be afraid while walking the streets, said Long Chen. Bidang Rushuang immediately became scornful. How could she, the genius of an illustrious everlasting family, go with him? Ha ha ha, quite a few people have come today. Excellent, then I'll show the world just how unfit the Heavenly Sword Gate's name is. Suddenly, wild laughter rang out, causing everyone to look up at the sky. Chapter 2155 A Clash of Sword Cultivators Up in the Sky A white-robed man with a sword on his back appeared. His face was fair and not bad-looking. He seemed like an untamable horse, like a sharp sword that would cut anyone who touched it. Just looking at him was painful. The curious thing was he actually had a bandana covering his forehead. This person was Jian Wachen. W. I. Him standing there. Everyone could vaguely see millions of streaks of sword light slicing the void around him. You are you Zifeng? HMPH. Come out and face your death. I'll show the entire world that the Heavenly Sword Gate is just a group of conceited incompetents. Jian Wachen looked down at Yu Zifeng disdainfully with a trace of hatred. Yu Zifeng slowly opened his eyes and stood. A traitor also dares to say such words. If that senior of the Heavenly Sword Gate hadn't accepted you back in the day, you'd have long since starved in the streets. You don't know gratitude, but worse, you betrayed your sect, slaughtering your fellow disciples. Such a person is worse than a beast. Are you trying to make a joke? They accepted me because of my talent in the sword Dao. Later on, they saw my talent surpassed them, making them jealous, and they refused to transmit the true divine arts of the sword Dao to me. Why would I stay in such a narrow-hearted sect? The heavenly sword sect is filled with sanctimonious experts. I'll expose you bit by bit, showing the world that even without the nurturing of the heavenly sword sect, 
I can still walk to the peak of the sword Dao. A pearl's light can't be covered up by weeds. Your blood will show the world just how blind the old fellows of the heavenly sword gate were to miss a peerless genius like me. My path to sovereignty will be opened with your blood. I'll also show those old fellows what the true sword Dao is. Jian Wachen's white robes began to flutter in a non-existent breeze. A sharp sword intent rose. The void rumbled as his aura rose bit by bit. Your path to sovereignty? You think wearing white can make you a sovereign? White clothes won't cover up your black heart. You are the scum of sword cultivators. The seniors of the heavenly sword gate at that time let you off, hoping you would change your ways. But you continued in your wrong ways. Today, I'll clean up the garbage of the heavenly sword gate, said Yu Zifeng, his voice growing colder and colder. His hand slowly reached for the sword on his back, and an invisible power spread. Bullshit. You're all self-righteous idiots. I'll kill you. The space behind Jian Wachen suddenly exploded, and his manifestation appeared. There was a giant sword in at Novaloon.com that sword was covered in black chi and emitted an air of slaughter. The black chi spread, turning the sky dim. A baleful aura of slaughter filled the world, causing heaven and earth to tremble. Heaven's soul manifestation. Devil sword pierces the firmament someone let out a startled cry. A heaven's soul manifestation was much more terrifying than an ordinary Empyrean's manifestation. An ordinary Empyrean's manifestation absorbed the energy of the heavenly deos for their own use. It was a kind of support. But a heaven's soul manifestation was something that drew the very spirit of heaven and earth into the manifestation. Divine light gathered around Jian Wachen. He seemed possessed by the devil sword in his manifestation, and a sinister light appeared in his eyes. This Jian Wachen has already deviated from the sword Dao. He walks a kind of devil Dao. His heart devil is too strong. In pursuit of greater power, he has abandoned all morals. Although he awakened a heaven's soul manifestation, it is not the true sword Dao. For him to become a sovereign is an idiot's dream, said Long Chen. You are correct. The seniors of the heavenly sword gate ordered him to stop cultivating and meditate because they saw this. However, he refused to listen to their advice and even assumed that they were jealous of his talent, causing him to feel resentful. In the end, he betrayed his sect and killed his martial brothers, said Nangong Zuayu. Long Chen saw through him accurately. Although he didn't know Jian Wachen, just this first encounter was enough for him to see the latter's inner heart. It's too bad that the sword Dao is different from other Daos. Everything depends on your own comprehension. If someone gives a genius too many pointers, it will only backfire and destroy them. So even though Jian Wachen has a heart devil, others were only able to vaguely warn him. If Jian Wachen had recognized his own heart devil, perhaps he wouldn't have betrayed his sect, said Bidang Rushuang. It's useless. Mountains and rivers may change, but people don't. You can cultivate your Tao, but you can't cultivate your character. Some people may appear to change, like a weak person who acts good until they act bad once they're strong. But their character didn't change, only the circumstances did. Long Chen didn't agree with Bidang Rushuang's view. The stronger someone was, the more they felt that they could do whatever they wanted. Up in the sky, Jian Wachen's aura was growing stronger. A suffocating feeling pressed down on the experts around. Jian Wachen didn't immediately attack. Instead, he slowly released his own power, using his aura to corrode Yu Zifeng's will. He didn't just want to defeat Yu Zifeng. He wanted to kill him with absolute superiority, to show the world just how foolish a decision it had been for the Heavenly Sword Gate to expel him. Yu Zifeng was like a boulder, unmoving in the face of Jian Wachen's ever-rising aura. His hand was on his hilt, and in that moment, his aura vanished. It was like he had become one with heaven and earth. I heard Yu Zifeng is the same as Long Chen. He's not an Empyrean or even a Celestial. He can't summon any manifestation what a freak. Even without the blessing of the heavenly Deos, he's reached his current level. It's just unknown whether or not he can actually defeat Jian Wachen. Jian Wachen's heaven soul manifestation hasn't even done anything yet. Just this aura is enough to crush a normal person's will. People began to quietly discuss things as they watched the two people in the air. Many people frowned at Jian Wachen because a master was to be respected. This was true in the human race, the ancient races, and amongst the Xuan beasts. 
Traitors weren't accepted in any race. They were extremely hated. So even though Jian Wachen was a supreme genius from the ancient era, very few people acknowledged him. The righteous path might acknowledge a powerful enemy but not a traitor. In many people's hearts, they hoped for Yu Zifeng to defeat Jian Wachen, but they knew that this hope was minuscule. After all, the eras were different. Yu Zifeng was just a titular disciple of the Heavenly Sword Gate, and his true status was the fourth captain of the Dragonblood Legion. Hence, he hadn't been constantly cultivating in the Heavenly Sword Gate. His fame and foundation were far too lacking compared to Jian Wachen. If Yu Zifeng is defeated, will Long Chen make a move? Impossible. Challenges between experts are fights to the death, and Yu Zifeng wants to clean up the name of his sect even if Yu Zifeng is killed right in front of Long Chen. He can't interfere. Experts have their own dignity that is more important than their lives. If Long Chen interferes, Yu Zifeng might prefer to have died. Sigh. That really is regretful boom. Suddenly, the void shook intensely. The manifestation that had been growing larger the entire time finally stabilized. The Devil Sword's black chi covered the sky. The manifestation was now over ten times larger than before. Space had frozen, and even time felt like it was close to stopping. Even the experts outside the battlefield no longer felt comfortable at this distance and retreated further. Being within the range of this manifestation made them feel uneasy, as if within this range, Jian Wachen's sword might land on their heads with a thought. In the face of this terrifying manifestation, Yu Zifeng was still silent, simply holding his sword. You should thank me. Just now, through my manifestation, I displayed my sword Dao to you. It's the first time I've displayed my sword Dao so clearly since awakening my manifestation. How is it? Do you feel despair? Jian Wachen's hand also clenched over his sword hilt. I do feel despair and fear Yu Zifeng nodded. These words startled all the experts present. If Yu Zifeng felt fear and despair, it indicated that his mental state had already been affected by Jian Wachen's manifestation. In that case, his will must have broken down, and he would be defeated and killed. Not just fear and despair. I can also sense your inner heart's greed and desire. You've always coveted the sword god Dao Cannon but were never able to obtain it. A selfish and narrow-minded person like you wouldn't be able to understand the sword god Dao Cannon even if it was given to you, said Yu Zifeng coldly. Bullshit. Is the sword god Dao Cannon so rare? Even without it, I could have walked the normal path. But now I've blazed an entirely new path. Awakening the devil sword pierces the firmament manifestation. I'll show you. Other than those undying fellows in the heavenly sword gate, no one there can contend against me. Jian Wachen's face twisted, and his sword suddenly came out of its sheath, unleashing sharp, cold rays of sword chi. A brilliant streak of light slashed toward Yu Zifeng. Chapter 2156 Soaring Sword Chi A sword slashed through the air, and dazzling sword light lit up the sky. In his fury, Jian Wachen unleashed his sharpest attack right from the start. Yu Zifeng's sword also came out of its sheath. There was no sword light, but his sword was like a streak of lightning, so fast that it was inconceivable. Boom. The laws of the world shattered. Divine light exploded like a firework. Nothing more than a flashy technique. It has the form but lacks the soul of the sword. As expected, after leaving the heavenly sword gate, you stopped being a true sword cultivator. Today, I'll have to kill you. Suddenly. Jian Wachen's attack shattered, broken by Yu Zifeng's sword. This seemingly ordinary swing of his sword with no manifestation backing it had broken Jian Wachen's attack, shocking the experts present. Just where was his power coming from? It was just a probing blow. What are you so pleased about? How childish. Have a look at my self-created 13 life-seizing swords. Jian Wachen's sword quivered and suddenly slashed down on Yu Zifeng. The second slash then swept out, and a third followed. Yu Zifeng's left hand was in a sword seal as the sword in his right hand repeatedly slashed out. The two of their swords clashed repeatedly, each time causing violent rumbling. After the twelfth slash, Jian Wachen's sword moved with the sound of a wild storm. His power had risen with every slash. When Jian Wachen's thirteenth slash arrived, Yu Zifeng suddenly let out a cry. Waves of divine light appeared on his sword as he became one with his sword. His sword struck Jian Wachen's, 
Sword light tore through the air. The two of them retreated at the same time. Heavens. Jian Wachen is injured. Someone let out a startled cry. A ray of sword chi had pierced Jian Wachen's shoulder, turning his white robes red. I already said, your techniques have form but lack soul. This was no different from your probing blow. You've already deviated from the sword Dao. You place the emphasis on your spiritual Yuan, your heavenly Dao energy. But you've forgotten the foundation of a sword cultivator, the sword in your hand. You view your sword as nothing more than a weapon. You no longer even view it as a companion or an extension of your life. So, your techniques are like a fangless viper, a clawless tiger. Everything is empty. Did the seniors of the Heavenly Sword Gate not tell you that once you choose to be a sword cultivator, your sword is your life? If you had believed them, your sword would have blessed you with limitless power. Yu Zifeng's voice resounded through the air, every word entering deep into people's minds and hearts. The sword users especially were moved. Yu Zifeng seemed to be expressing the core principles of the Heavenly Sword Gate. However, while it might sound easy, just how many people could really entrust their own life to their weapon? A weapon was used to be controlled, not the other way around. The Heavenly Sword Gate's teachings are all a con. The true secrets lie within the Sword God Dao Canon, but that is hidden in the hands of those undying fellows. They cultivate it themselves and refuse to teach it to others, conning people with some dog shit logic. I'll show you just how false their promises of using the sword to control the heart and become divine are. The sword exists to be controlled. The strongest thing is the person, not the sword. Using a supreme power to control the sword is the correct path. And I'll prove it right now by toppling all the powers you've ever seen. That sword in your hand won't be able to receive a single attack. The devil sword in Jian Wachen's manifestation suddenly vanished. In that instant, the sword in his hand became black as ink. And a pair of black wings appeared on his back. Ha ha ha. Jian Wachen laughed wildly, his voice shaking people's ears like thunder. Black Devil Chi covered his body. He now appeared to be a devil king. His icy voice rang out. When I was forced out of the Heavenly Sword Gate, I swore to wash the Heavenly Sword Gate with blood and erase that fake sect from this world. Do you see? Even the heavens are helping me. Just as I was being hunted down by experts and in despair, I awakened a heaven's soul manifestation. Do you know what this means? It means that even the heavens support me, that the heavens believe that I am correct. Yu Zifeng, you are simply a tricked fool. What can you take out to fight me? Yu Zifeng shook his head. So what if the heavens support you? In the Dragon Blood Legion, every warrior dares to fight against the heavens. The heavens are beneath my boss. As for you, being a traitorous dog that obtained the recognition of the heavenly deos only proves that the heavens are blind. These words were exceptionally shocking to the experts present. It was like Yu Zifeng was publicly challenging the heavenly deos. Was he not afraid of his next heavenly tribulation becoming heavenly punishment? The higher the cultivation base, the more a cultivator had to respect the heavenly deos. That was because the heavenly deos paid more attention to them. And if they did something wrong, it would come with consequences. Long Chen smiled. It seemed that Yu Zifeng was truly angry. He never talked this much. He might have said more words here than all the words he had ever spoken since joining the Dragon Blood Legion. Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang looked at Long Chen at the same time, sighing inside. As expected, the leader raised similar soldiers. With the boss being so unruly, the subordinates would also be unconstrained. Novaloon.com We'll see how long you can act tough. Jian Wachen slowly raised his black sword. The black chi surrounding him exploded, burning like black flames. Once his wings moved, he sped up like a black streak of light, piercing through Yu Zifeng before anyone could react. It all happened too quickly, too suddenly. It's a spatial distortion. The Jian Wachen we saw wasn't the real Jian Wachen, exclaimed Nangong Zuiyu. They just barely managed to see Jian Wachen's figure suddenly return after shooting past Yu Zifeng and slash him from behind. Jian Wachen didn't even look back as he swung his sword. Even more incomprehensible was that Yu Zifeng also simply slashed his sword behind him without looking. Boom. Huge ripples spread as Yu Zifeng's sword shattered the void. People saw a black sword and then Jian Wachen's figure. But then Yu Zifeng suddenly swung his sword forward. 
just barely blocking Jian Wachen's black sword again. What is going on? People were flabbergasted, completely unable to understand this battle they were witnessing. How was it that there were two Jian Wachens, one in front of Yu Zifeng and one behind? It didn't look like an afterimage or a clone. This is the result of spatial displacement. Jian Wachen's attack has caused spastime to divide. The order of spastime is disturbed by his sword light. His first attack was too fast. And what we saw as his first attack was actually his second attack. While his second attack was his first. Said one expert who also had a sword on his back. Jian Wachen and Yu Zifeng began a furious exchange with their swords. Scintillating sword light shot out with such sharpness that the experts jumped back. Even though the experts present were essentially all awakened Empyreans, they still felt like there was danger of being killed in one shot by this terrifying sword chi. Yu Zifeng's expression was icy. His left hand continued to maintain his sword seal, while his right hand held his sword, repeatedly blocking. That seemingly ordinary sword of his seemed to be blessed with a strange power that allowed it to steadily block all of Jian Wachen's berserk attacks. This Yu Zifeng is a monster. How is he so strong? Even Mo Nian couldn't help being shocked. Not only was Yu Zifeng a monster, but he was also so monstrous that others couldn't even tell what made him a monster. His techniques looked ordinary. The spatial fluctuations around him weren't large, and he had no manifestation around him. But he was able to block Jian Wachen's attacks. Even experts like Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuaya were unable to understand this. They glanced at Long Chen, looking for an explanation. Long Chen shook his head. It's useless to look at me. Yu Zifeng is a strange existence even amongst the Dragonblood Legion. In the beginning, I was still able to understand him. But when sect leader Ling Yanzi erased his heavenly Tao energy to turn him into an ordinary cultivator. I was no longer able to understand him. In a battle against the corrupt path, he merged his soul into his sword to kill the corrupt experts. When his soul returned to his body, his combat power soared crazily. Even I have to be afraid of him. Sword cultivators have always been the most frightening existences in this world with unrivaled offensive power. As for Yu Zifeng's path, it seems different from the past generations of sword cultivators. The power he controls seems to be related to gods yet also not. It's impossible to determine the terrifying power of sword cultivators had always been a mystery. Just what was the source of their power? No one knew. Quick, look. Mo Nian let out a startled cry. More Jian Wachens were filling the sky. Spastime had been thrown into chaos. As hundreds of Jian Wachens attacked Yu Zifeng at the same time. Chapter 2157 The True Sword Dao Countless Jian Wachens filled the sky. The first assumption was that they were after images. But these after images all moved and attacked at the same time. Unleashing endless killing intent. Sword light sliced the world into pieces. Jian Wachens cold voice rang out. You can die now. This is my self-created hundred turn thousand death art. Every single one of these figures contains my attack power. Just how will you block them? The fact that Jian Wachen had been able to create such a move caused quite a few expressions to change. It was no wonder he was considered a peerless heavenly genius. His talent in the sword Dao was amazing to be able to create such a terrifying move. Every cultivator walked in the footsteps of their predecessors. And they cultivated their predecessors' magical arts. It wasn't that they didn't want to create their own, but creating a technique superior to their ancestors was too difficult. How many geniuses had appeared in the long flow of history? And just how many people were able to create powerful techniques? Even if they could create their own techniques, just how many of them received the recognition of the world and had their techniques transmitted down? Creating a magical art was very difficult. Many people said that they created their own but they had really simply glossed over another magical art and made it seem like their own. Through the long flow of time, those fake techniques were forgotten. However, the technique that Jian Wachen was using was so terrifying that it was worthy of being recorded in history. Each of the images that he had left in the air looked like his true body, and not only were they capable of attacking, but they each retained 60% of his power, with hundreds of them attacking at the same time. His power had surpassed his original limits. Such a magical art could already be considered a paragon art. 
and a powerful existence even amongst Paragon Arts at that. Even Mo Nian's expression changed. Zifeng is in danger. Do we need to interfere? No need. Long Chen's reply was simple. Suddenly, a wave of light unfurled, blowing apart the sword light and the images, leaving behind only an indifferent Yu Zifeng and a shocked Jian Wachen. What just happened? No idea. It was too fast. The experts watching were dumbfounded. They didn't even see how Yu Zifeng had negated Jian Wachen's terrifying attack. I already said that your techniques lack any substance. Without any true soul, you're as stiff as a wooden puppet and filled with openings. To brand a domain with imprints of your attacks is truly marvelous. But you didn't imprint any of the sword Deo's soul. Even with a manifestation allowing you to brand this space. If you can't hit someone, it's all meaningless. You've only comprehended a hair of the true sword Dao, but you wanted to create a paragon art? You are too naive. Yu Zifeng slowly sheathed his sword. Seeing his indifferent and confident manners, Long Chen smiled. Now he understood why the always taciturn Yu Zifeng would be so talkative today. He didn't just want to win. He wanted to completely shatter Jian Wachen's confidence. From mind to body to soul. In the Dragonblood Legion, everyone hated traitors. That was something that they couldn't accept. If this is all the power you have, I'd advise you to just kill yourself. You aren't even qualified to be killed by me, said Yu Zifeng. His words made the expressions of quite a few experts change. Was Yu Zifeng really so powerful? Ignorant fool. You're too arrogant. I'll make you pay a price for your arrogance, Jian Wachen roared. And the image of a sharp sword appeared in his eyes. His aura suddenly changed. It no longer felt boundless and calm. Instead, it was like a tsunami unleashing huge waves. His aura swept through the air. Jian Wachen was truly enraged. He was originally planning on using absolute power to crush Yu Zifeng like a cat toying with a mouse to prove just how strong he was. Now he found that their positions had been reversed. He was the one being toyed with. Seeing Yu Zifeng's calm assurance made him even angrier. Jian Wachen wasn't even using his full power before seeing Jian Wachen in this state shocked people. They actually still underestimated the terror of this genius sword cultivator of the ancient era. Devil sword possession. Break the dome of the sky. The heavenly deos fall before me. Only the sword da reigns supreme Jian Wachen's voice became hoarse. Now, every single one of his words seemed to be dripping in blood. And his face changed. Becoming sinister. It was like a devil from hell had possessed him. Suddenly, Jian Wachen moved, and no one could even track his movements. A black sword fell. Yu Zifeng's expression was solemn. His eyes were tightly locked on the black sword. His own sword suddenly came out of its sheath, unleashing sword light like a starry river. Boom. The two swords clashed. Yu Zifeng's sword light was destroyed, while the black sword light passed by his body. The earth exploded. Another bottomless ditch appeared in the end of the heavens valley, stretching beyond the horizon. There were countless experts surrounding the battlefield, and as a result, over ten Empyreans were struck by that attack. Not having enough time to run, they vanished without a trace, without even being able to make a sound. Not even a trace of their divine items remained. This one attack shook all the experts present. They retreated even further. If they lost their lives to Jian Wachen's fury, that would be too unfortunate. What sword intent? What sword moves? They're all nonsense in the face of absolute power. With absolute power, a sword is just a tool that you control. Your heavenly sword gate made up a bunch of nonsense about the sword god. As for the sword god Dao Cannon, it has the strongest techniques for controlling the sword, but they refused to transmit them. They're all selfish. I'll expose the true face of the heavenly sword gate. I'll bring your head back to the heavenly sword gate and teach them that even without the sword god Dao Cannon, I can still reach the peak of the sword Dao Jian Wachen's black sword once more slashed down. It looked like a random swing, but it possessed the power to break the laws of the world. With the support of his manifestation, the furious Jian Wachen was like the ruler of this world. At this moment, people finally sensed the terror of a heaven's soul manifestation. Boom. Yu Zifeng once more avoided the attack, leaving a deep ditch in the ground. Yu Zifeng, weren't you being very arrogant? What? Now you don't even dare to receive an ordinary attack. I'm only using the full power of my manifestation right now. 
not some peerless technique. Could it be that the heavenly sword gates people are only on this level? Jian Wachen repeatedly attacked. Yu Zifeng only continued to dodge without attacking. Yu Zifeng's eyes were icy. As he calmly observed the changes behind Jian Wachen, a sneer formed on his face. The reason I'm not attacking is because I want to figure out where your power comes from. Now I understand. Your manifestation is inherited. You inherited the manifestation of the Sword Devil Ghost Slaughterer from 23,000 years ago. Who would have thought that he would actually choose to condense his soul into his heavenly Tao manifestation when he failed to achieve his Tao? All your power was inherited from him. This isn't your own power. To use someone else's power and still be so arrogant. You really aren't a sword cultivator. No sword cultivator is so shameless. Sneered Yu Zifeng. Bullshit. The power that I can control is my power. Roared Jian Wachen. Attacking again. Since it's someone else's power. Why talk about becoming a sovereign? The sword devil ghost slaughterer was unable to even become a venerate. You think inheriting his legacy can make you a sovereign? What a huge joke. Since I've figured this out, it's time to settle things between us. You think you've managed to reach the peak of the sword Dao? I'll show you the true sword Dao Yu Zifeng suddenly stopped dodging, holding his sword in front of him, with both hands on its hilt. He touched the blade with his forehead. After that, bits of divine light began to float out of his forehead and merge into the sword. It was like that sword had been blessed by a god and seemed to come to life. It began to emit its own spiritual fluctuations. An item spirit? No, it's not, exclaimed Mo Nian. That air of life was not from an item spirit. That should be a legendary sword spirit. It's not a true soul but can be considered a kind of law floating throughout heaven and earth. Legend has it that it is related to the sword god's blessing. The spirit of the sword Tao that the sword god left behind for disciples who inherit his will. Only the most pious sword cultivators can summon it. Furthermore, there is a chance of failure with each summoning. Every time, it will be a different spirit. Of course, all of this is just legends. Perhaps only Yu Zifeng knows if it's true or not, said Nangong Zuayu. Yu Zifeng's sword began to shudder. The sound of a grand Tao began to ring out. A scam. Face your death. Jian Wachen roared furiously, but there was a hint of fear in his eyes. His black sword unleashed a wave of black light. Yu Zifeng suddenly opened his eyes, and his sword let out a light cry. In that instant, Yu Zifeng became an inseparable entity with the sword in his hand. I'll let you experience the true sword Tao. Chapter 2158 Sword Devil Ghost Slaughterer It was just a random swing of his sword, but a clear sword sound rang out. That was the soul of the sword. It had formed a resonance with Yu Zifeng's soul, with his sword being the vector. Yu Zifeng's fervent summons had drawn in a sword spirit willing to give all its power to him. Yu Zifeng's sword unleashed a ray of light that pierced through the void, pierced through the clouds, and pierced through the cosmos. It severed the restrictions of the world. When his sword slashed down, it was like the river of stars in the sky were slashing down as well. In that instant, the laws of the world were destroyed. Even Dong Fang Yuyang, Zeman Shiangsheng, and the other experts were unable to remain calm. Boom. Jian Wachen's black sword light shattered. In front of Yu Zifeng, he was unable to receive a single blow. Yu Zifeng's sword continued, slicing apart Jian Wachen's domain. Despite Jian Wachen blocking with all his power, he was sent flying, wildly hacking up blood. A long cut could be seen on his chest, so deep that it was possible to see bone. After injuring Jian Wachen, Yu Zifeng didn't press the attack. He simply floated there in the sky. The true sword Dao is becoming one with the sword. There is no one controlling the other. It is to fully trust each other. Back in my day, I was stuck pacing outside the sword Dao, unable to understand its essence. But when I joined the Dragonblood Legion, my boss taught me what the true sword Dao was. He taught us to trust our backs to our brothers. With that trust, we don't need to worry about our backs and can just press onward. This is why the Dragonblood Legion is strong enough to be the Martial Heaven Continent's number one Legion. Our power doesn't stem from our talent but from this trust. Because of it, we are able to leave our lives in the hands of our brothers without any hesitation. This is our Tao. But it also resonates with the Sword Tao. To communicate with your sword, you need to fully trust it. 
As Yu Zifeng's voice resounded through the air, the experts were deeply shaken. They looked from Yu Zifeng to Long Chen. Even a monster like Yu Zifeng had such reverence for him. Bidang Rushuang's eyes flashed. She had always felt Long Chen to be a hoodlum. But how could a proud sword cultivator like Yu Zifeng be so respectful to him? Yu Zifeng looked at the sword in his hand with gratitude. Only absolute trust can unleash the full divine power of the sword Dao. If my sword can entrust her life to me, I can also entrust my life to her. So a true cultivator only needs to trust, not question. However, these words are useless when it comes to you. Jian Wachen, even if you cultivated for 10,000 years, you wouldn't understand this kind of principle. That is because in your heart, you don't trust anyone. The only one you trust is yourself. You only care about yourself, and you push all your mistakes onto others while resenting everyone else. You've locked your inner heart, turning it into a world of darkness that sunlight cannot reach. You refuse to believe that you could be wrong. It must be the rest of the world that's wrong. That's why you've never understood what the true sword Dao is. Shut up. Jian Wachen's face twisted in fury. It looked like flames were about to explode out of his demonic eyes. He had heard Yu Zifeng's words before. The very first day he joined the Heavenly Sword Gate, he had heard them. He had assumed that they were only some foundational nonsense. So he hadn't cared about them. He wanted higher level techniques, more terrifying sword arts, and divine abilities that could flip the heavens. However, now he found that he was wrong. Yu Zifeng had used himself to prove that this foundational principle was the essence of the sword Dao and the basis for a sword cultivator. Jian Wachen was unable to do that. In this world, there was no one he could trust. How was he supposed to trust a weapon? All fallacies used to con people. A saber. A sword. Their power only depends on the user. Howled Jian Wachen, refusing to accept Yu Zifeng's viewpoint. Without man, the sword would just be scrap metal. But without the sword, man would just be ordinary. The sword can measure the heavens, the earth, and all deos in between. It allows one to roam the four seas, to become a god or immortal, to slay devils and gods. Only when man becomes one with the sword does the true essence of the sword Dao come out, said Yu Zifeng. Fuck your one with the sword bullshit. The heavenly sword gate is one with being bastards. Connors. Jian Wachen suddenly spat a mouthful of blood onto his black sword. Its light instantly grew berserk, and a wild killing intent sword. The black sword seemed to come to life, roaring along with Jian Wachen. The sword is a noble amongst weapons. It can be used to dance and sing, yet also slay devils and demons. However, it cannot be used as a tool for slaughter to prove oneself. Yu Zifeng randomly raised his sword. Their two swords clashed once more. A wild baleful aura unfurled throughout the sky. Jian Wachen's black wings made him appear like a devil, wild and bloodthirsty, while the opposing Yu Zifeng was calm, still with his left hand in a sword seal and his right hand holding his sword. He blocked Jian Wachen just like that. Ripples spread along Yu Zifeng's sword, and divine light continued to sparkle. Those fluctuations were like the breath of the sky and the pulse of the earth. No matter how Jian Wachen wildly attacked, he was unable to suppress Yu Zifeng's sword. It was like Yu Zifeng's sword was blocking Jian Wachen's attacks on its own. Now I understand. When the sword spirit appears, the entire world will support the sword cultivator. The current Yu Zifeng is relying entirely on his sword's power to block Jian Wachen, said Nangong Zuayu. The experts that reached a similar level to her had also seen the clues. Yu Zifeng's sword had been possessed by a sword spirit making him enter a kind of blessed state. That's so monstrous. Doesn't that make Yu Zifeng unbeatable? Grumbled Mo Nian. There's nothing unbeatable in this world. The sword spirit possession requires Yu Zifeng to resonate with it. That must take up a great deal of his mental energy. Once he uses up all that energy, the sword spirit will fade, said Long Chen. This mental energy was a strange kind of power. It was almost like something between spiritual strength and willpower. Long Chen didn't quite understand it. Back in the netherworld, Zi Kian had used her mental energy to save him from a strange pool. That was his first encounter with that strange energy. Before this, he had vaguely sensed a similar power from Yu Zifeng. But today, that mental energy was exceptionally strong. 
Yu Zifen must have finally managed to control that power. Zi Kiankian was an expert that came from a distant world. He didn't know what kind of cultivation technique she trained in, but when it came to Yu Zifeng, he knew that this was the result of his bitter cultivation of the sword Dao. Yu Zifeng's unyielding willpower had always been very admirable to Long Chen. Sword cultivators were a group of fanatics. Once those madmen became serious, they were truly frightening. Bastard, I refuse to believe this. Jian Wachen roared angrily, but he wasn't able to lie to himself. As a sword cultivator, he could clearly sense limitless energy coming from Yu Zifeng's sword, which was blocking all his attacks. He thought of the legendary sword spirit possession, where the sword spirit offered up all its power to the sword cultivator. Ah, Jian Wachen suddenly let out a bestial roar. The manifestation behind him vanished and his white robes exploded. His skin split open, causing blood to burst out of him. Jian Wachen's aura vanished. It was replaced by a foreign, ancient, brutal aura. The fury in Jian Wachen's eyes vanished, replaced with an aged look of years past. He seemed to have become an entirely different person. I didn't expect someone to be able to awaken a sword spirit. Good. Good. I, the sword devil ghost slaughterer, have finally found a suitable person to take over. Jian Wachen's voice had also changed, growing older. He, he's the sword devil ghost slaughterer? How is that possible? Startled cries rang out, as people were filled with disbelief. What is going on? Was the sword devil ghost slaughterer able to fully merge his soul into a heavenly Tao manifestation? Has he taken Jian Wachen out with his will? Chills ran down people's spines. This world was filled with things that others had never seen before. Little boy, I like you. Obediently inherit my legacy, and I guarantee that you can reign supreme with your sword Dao and become a sovereign. Jian Wachen's ancient voice rang out once more. His eyes locked onto Yu Zifeng. Chapter 2159 Sudden Change Jian Wachen's aura had completely transformed. He had been taken possession of by another soul. Everyone was stunned by this. There were legends of the infamous sword devil ghost slaughterer. It was said that despite clearly possessing the power to ascend, he refused to, only seeking to become a sovereign. However, he failed and was essentially destroyed by the heavenly deos. No one had expected that a dead man would have been able to merge the core of their soul into a heaven soul manifestation. When Jian Wachen awakened the same heaven soul manifestation, the sword devil ghost slaughterers will manage to affect him. The current Jian Wachen had been fully taken over. A wave of fear fell over the experts present. This person was infamous for killing countless life forms. Someone who struck fear into the hearts of the righteous and the corrupt paths. However, Yu Zifeng calmly shook his head. Are you sure you're using your brain when speaking? You didn't have the power to become a sovereign before. How are you supposed to make someone else a sovereign boy? You don't appreciate my kindness, so don't blame me for being vicious. I'll take your soul and merge it into Jian Wachen's. I trust that I'll definitely be able to make a sword sovereign then. Jian Wachen waved his sword, and a sea of sword images filled the sky. Devil sword slashes the Tao. Ten thousand ghosts devour the heavens. Devil Chi exploded out of Jian Wachen. His power almost caused the world to collapse, shaking even experts like Zeman Shiangsheng. Dongfang Yuyang, Nangong Zuyu, and Bidang Rushuang. This was not Jian Wachen's power. Slash the Dao? The Heavenly Daos? Or the Sword Dao? If it's the latter, then just stop your lunatic ravings. Yu Zifeng was still icily calm. Taking a deep breath, his sword began to hum. The sword cry once more ringing throughout heaven and earth. One sword, untouched by dust. Just like that, Yu Zifeng and his sword pierced into the sea of swords. He looked so weak in comparison, like a moth drawn into a flame, but he possessed a boundless determination. Long Chen's eyes were tightly locked onto Yu Zifeng. He could sense some kind of energy flowing from Yu Zifeng's body into his sword. The sword had merged with his mental energy. Suddenly, he and his sword transformed into one sharp giant sword that pierced through the air. There were endless stars that flickered around it. Boom! The huge sword smashed through the sea of swords. They exploded and a wave of runes erupted. When the wave of runes vanished, it revealed two figures standing in the sky, backs facing each other. Yu Zifeng suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. 
His body rocked in the sky, and it looked like he was about to fall from the sky. Yu Zifeng lost. No. Look at Jian Wachen's feet. A light breeze blew by. Jian Wachen's feet began to blow away in the breeze. Then his calves, knees, thighs, they all began to drift away. There was no blood. There was no painful scream. It was all deathly silent. Why? Jian Wachun looked down at his disappearing body, feeling at a loss. His voice was both young and old. It was his voice and the voice of the sword devil ghost slaughterer. No one answered him. That invisible breeze slowly turned his body into specks of dust that vanished. People looked at Yu Zifeng with admiration. Sword cultivators were always a special breed in the cultivation world. Perhaps some people here had refused to believe that sword cultivators were number one in terms of offensive power, but now they believed it. Suddenly, Yu Zifeng's sword cracked and then shattered. One of the experts had a thought and waved his hand, sucking one of the fragments into it. When he saw that fragment, he gasped. How is this possible? The other experts looked over and were also filled with disbelief. That sword had been no divine weapon. It hadn't been made out of divine materials but extremely ordinary materials. It couldn't even count as an ancestral item. The difference though was that this fragment was still emitting the boundless power of the sword Dao. Using ordinary metal to destroy a divine weapon. This had reached a realm that mortals couldn't comprehend. Buzz. Suddenly, a sword stabbed toward Yu Zifeng like a bolt of lightning. It was both fast and vicious. Blood Kill Hall. The Blood Kill Hall's name appeared in the minds of every expert at almost the same time. Courting death, Long Chen immediately shot forward. Yu Zifeng's sword was broken, and he had exhausted his mental energy. He was in his weakest state. He also knew that Yu Zifeng only had one sword because that was a habit of sword cultivators. They fully trusted their sword and wouldn't have a replacement. More figures appeared in the space around Yu Zifeng. It was actually filled with the Blood Kill Hall's assassins. Cloud Piercing Arrow. Sun Splitting Arrow. Two arrows shot past Long Chen, killing the first two assassins. The first arrow was from Mo Nian, while the second was from Bidang Rushuang. The two of them had attacked at almost the same time, at the same speed. Long Chen, we should settle our old debts today. Shai Ling Feng suddenly slammed the ground, summoning giant stone walls that blocked Long Chen's path. At this critical moment, he stopped Long Chen from saving Yu Zifeng. There were 18 walls, all thick and powerful. Killing intent blazed in Long Chen's eyes. Five Star Battle Armor, Azure Dragon Battle Armor, Split the Heavens 8, Evil Moon slashed down, destroying the stone walls. Try blocking my attack, as if knowing his 18 walls wouldn't be able to stop Long Chen. Shai Ling Feng formed hand seals, and his entire body began to glow. Runes revolved around his fist. Scram. However, he was still too slow. Before he could amass enough energy, he was sent flying by Long Chen's saber. On the other side, Yu Zifeng was surrounded by over ten of the Blood Kill Hall's assassins. He was pale but still calm. He seemed to be able to predict the attacks of the assassins, always moving before their attacks landed. That was the specific spiritual perception of a sword cultivator. Sword cultivators were the bane of assassins because the latter would always be sensed before they could approach the former. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins wouldn't even try killing sword cultivators normally. However, these assassins had grasped a rare opportunity. Without a sword, a sword cultivator wouldn't even have a tenth of their power. They were prey. Long Chen, traitor of the Martial Heaven Continent, you colluded with the original devil race to destroy this world. You must be put to death. Another expert of the ancient era appeared in front of Long Chen just as Shai Ling Feng was knocked back. He had also been in the gathering of past and present heroes, and he held a strange bone spear. Blood-colored runes glowed on the spear, and when he ignited his blood chi, the entire world seemed to ignite along with it. Those who block me will die. Long Chen was growing even more furious. He had sensed that things were off. This battle with Yu Zifeng and Jian Wachen was a trap. Long Chen took eight steps through the air, his aura rising with each step. His saber then slammed down. His opponent stabbed his spear forward. It seemed to let out a bestial roar as it pierced through the air, as if it possessed its own life. It was a divine item with a terrifying origin. Boom. Long Chen's hand bled from the impact, but his opponent was sent flying. 
In terms of power, even a supreme genius of the ancient era was unable to match him, not bothering with his opponents. Lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back as he flew straight toward Yu Zifeng. Of everyone present, only Long Chen knew just how critical Yu Zifeng's state was. Although he still had plenty of spiritual yuan, his mental energy had been exhausted. That mental energy was his greatest force. Just as Long Chen was about to reach Yu Zifeng's battlefield, another expert of the ancient era blocked him. He came from the ancient race. His body was covered in scales and his hands were like claws. His sharp claws then whistled toward Long Chen, emitting a piercing sound as they tore through space. Long Chen furiously slammed a fist at him while also swinging Evil Moon behind him. At this moment, Shai Ling Feng had returned, attacking him from behind. Facing two of the supreme geniuses present, Long Chen was at a disadvantage. His fist was sliced open by the ancient race expert's claws and almost broke, due to the power split. Evil Moon was also forced back, making his other hand numb. He was forced to a stop. Three of the ancient era's experts surrounded Long Chen, preventing him from helping Yu Zifeng. Mo Nian's expression changed. Those assassins were fighting closely with Yu Zifeng, and he was too far to use a powerful move. If he did, he might injure Yu Zifeng, as sword cultivators had weak bodies. You want to take advantage of me when I have no sword? Even without a sword in hand, I can kill you easily. Yu Zifeng took a deep breath upon seeing Long Chen being blocked. He pressed his forefinger and his middle finger together, using those two fingers as his sword. A sharp sword light shot out. The sword light swept through the ice, slicing one of the Blood Kill Hall's assassins in two. Chapter 2160 Flames of Fury Saw a group of nocturnal ghosts also dares to be wild. Using his right hand's fingers as a sword and his left hand still in a seal, Yu Zifeng unleashed a sharp slash. Whether it was weapons or flesh, wherever his sword light went, it was severed. None of the assassins could stop him. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins were cut down one by one, shocking the experts present. No wonder he was able to use ordinary metal to fight against a divine weapon. Using his fingers as a sword to slay such powerful enemies was something even more incomprehensible. Boom. Suddenly, an explosion shook the sky as flames unfurled. The ancient race expert coughed up a mouthful of blood. One of his arms gone. He was sent flying by a lightning spear. Within the flames, Long Chen had a pair of giant lightning wings. He had switched Evil Moon with a lightning spear. The flames forced back Shai Ling Feng and the other expert allowing Long Chen to escape their blockade. Long Chen's so powerful, even three supreme experts couldn't stop him. Long Chen charged over to Yu Zifeng's side and grabbed Yu Zifeng's shoulder. The flames soared out, and the remaining assassins slipped away, vanishing. With Long Chen there, they didn't have any chance of killing Yu Zifeng. Boss, Yu Zifeng was growing paler and paler. Don't talk. You've burned too much essence blood. Take a break and leave the rest to me. Long Chen placed a hand on the back of Yu Zifeng's head, causing him to faint. Long Chen fed him a medicinal pill. Just now, Yu Zifeng had been igniting his essence blood and his soul for that finger sword. He had used up his mental energy, and replacing it with his essence blood, soul, and Yuan spirit energy was a self-damaging technique. The price was immense, and Yu Zifeng needed to hurry and recover, or the consequences would be severe. Long Chen you traitor of the Martial Heaven Continent. Today, the heroes of this world will punish you for colluding with the original devil race. Another human expert came charging over at him. Just as he flew over, an arrow shot toward him, causing his expression to change. He slammed his palm at the arrow. Boom. The arrow exploded. But he was also knocked back. Blood dripped down his hand. Idiot. Even if you have to slander someone, you should make a better excuse. I. Mo Nian, will send off anyone who wants to reincarnate. Mo Nian appeared by Long Chen's side, the five element sun hunting bow in his hand. Rushuang, help me out. Long Chen ignored those enemies and sent a message to Bidang Rushuang. Speak, help me look after my brother. I have something I need to do, so I'll need to leave first, said Long Chen. All right, Bidang Rushuang directly agreed. She went over to Long Chen and took Yu Zifeng. Long Chen was very at ease with Yu Zifeng in her hands. Bidang Rushuang was very fiery, 
and no one dared to provoke her. Mo Nian, this place is a trap. Don't waste time. Go to the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, and I'll go to the Zhuanshan Dao Sect if you resolve the problems. We'll regroup at the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow Race, said Long Chen to Mo Nian. You mean, have you noticed? Not one of the disciples from the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect or the Zhuanshan Dao Sect came. The corrupt paths Tian Zizi and the Xuan Beasts Kun Pengzi have also not appeared. There are some clues as to their plan. We have to be quick, said Long Chen. Long Chen hadn't sensed it at the beginning, merely assuming that the Zhuanshan Dao Sect and the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's disciples might be late. But when the Blood Kill Hall's assassins had attacked, he had realized something was off. This was a trap. All right. Mo Nian nodded and shot away. But before he could get far, over ten experts blocked his way. Mo Nian, you gravarabing scum. Leave your life here today. Scram. I haven't even robbed your family's ancestral tomb. Mo Nian didn't even recognize the person talking. Meaning these people were just making up excuses. Shut up. You've done so many evil things. And you're colluding with that villain Long Chen. You deserve death sneered that expert. He directly attacked. Opening his hand, a rune covered the sky and slammed at Mo Nian. Good. I see you don't want your ancestral tombs to be calm anymore. I'll help you. Mo Nian furiously raised his bow, his manifestation appearing behind him. There were two figures in his manifestation exuding divine power. Mo Nian, don't waste time, shouted Long Chen as a reminder. He was also flying away. It was unfortunate he didn't have time to settle things with the people who had blocked him. HMPH. Count yourselves lucky today. Just wait. Your daddy Mo will be going for a stroll around your family tomb soon. Mo Nian snorted and he suddenly shot away like an arrow himself. So fast that others couldn't even see him. Long Chen. Don't you think it's rude not to explain yourself before leaving? Demanded one expert. That's right. If you don't explain the matter of the original devil race today, don't even think about leaving. The Dark Era is about to descend. The Martial Heaven Continent cannot have any spies or traitors. Don't even think about leaving with all of us here. One supreme genius after another stood up, demanding answers from Long Chen. Brother Long, there must be some misunderstandings here. Why not peacefully explain things to everyone to avoid harming any relationships? Dong Fang Yuyang also stood up, but he was acting like a mediator. Scram. This hypocrite was once more going against him. Long Chen didn't want to play any more games. Brother Long, why harm people like this? There are many questionable points about you. Are others not permitted to raise their doubts? Dong Fang Yuyang frowned. Brother Yuyang, this person is clearly feeling guilty so he can only curse others. There's no need to waste any words. We can directly suppress him and do a soul sark to know the truth. That's right. This is for the peace of the martial heaven continent. There's no need to have so many misjivings. This is an emergency measure just for this time. More and more experts were standing up against Long Chen. Stunning the other experts. Just what was going on? Long Chen. Don't think that just because you hit it well. No one noticed you colluding with the original devil race. If you don't give us an explanation that expert was in the midst of shouting at Long Chen when a lightning spear shot toward him, sending him flying and making him cough up blood. How brazen Long Chen, you dare to attack, be suppressed. Another expert suddenly slammed a palm at him. Since you all like courting death, I'll help you out. Long Chen suddenly soared, his eyes filled with icy killing intent. The space behind him shattered and thunder force condensed into a giant lightning channel. An endless torrent of lightning surged out of the channel, filling the world with lightning. Long Chen's lightning wings grew many times larger, filling the sky. The giant palm that expert had sent crashing toward him crumbled, unable to bear a single strike from Long Chen's lightning wings. Die. Long Chen's furious roar was like thunder and also like the call of a death god. The lightning spear stabbed into that expert and being still off balance from having his palm destroyed. He was blown to bits. He only had time to take out a sword but didn't have time to use it. Just like that, one of the supreme geniuses of the ancient era, an expert that had dominated their generation, vanished from the world. If you want to die, then come. Long Chen was enraged. 
He blamed himself for being too careless, for underestimating the guts of his enemies. Long Chen's lightning spear directly pierced forward, while his giant lightning wings slashed down. He was like a lightning god walking this world. Those supreme geniuses of the ancient era were appalled by Long Chen's power. Over ten of them were sent flying by his attack. That scene sent a chill down other people's spines. Over ten supreme geniuses had been unable to stop him. Long Chen was truly heaven-defying. Just at that moment, a diagram appeared in the sky, blocking Long Chen's path. There were millions of stars flowing within that diagram. Every star was a ball of flames, and they flowed out like a celestial river, enveloping Long Chen. The Brahma Divine Diagram. Startled cries rang out. The pill fairy appeared in front of Long Chen, her white robes untouched by the mortal dust of this world. Long Chen, you blasphemed my pill valley's gods. Today, we will settle all our enmities. The pill fairy looked at Long Chen with icy mercilessness.